All right, hello, gang. We're back with episode two of Persona 3, the answer reloaded episode, I guess, toaster funny game. So, yeah, we're gonna... We're in this great land. And, um... I don't know, for some reason, my computer just, like, craps itself whenever I screen share and, like, stream like this at the same time. It's kind of weird, but it's not a massive deal. I have, like, as much minimized as possible. Yeah, I guess I can get rid of Task Manager. So, yeah. Uh, in the last episode, we had a lot of, like, dumb exposition stuff. That's basically just an excuse to get you into, um, the game. Also, I, I, does I guess really run this slow? It looks really weird. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess she does. So that's the dungeon we completed. Where's the next dungeon supposed to be? Alright, um... Uka, do you know where to go? Oh wait, are we supposed to, like, continue in this door? Uh, enter B8. Is there actually more to this dungeon? Maybe that was just like a mini boss or something. Let's stick together, sister. Oh yeah, we didn't actually beat this door, did we? Or did we? You appear to be much shorter in stature. No, I think that's it. I'm confused where we need to go next. <laughs> Does it matter what door I go in? Maybe it actually doesn't matter. The door is tightly sealed. Oh no, it does matter. I can't go in any of the doors. Hmm. Maybe I just need to go back to the entrance, I don't know. Hmm. Where do I go? This is confusing. I've never had this problem before. Yeah, the door is shut. Do I need to go to the velvet room or something? Um, unless... Go to the deepest explored floor. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm all ready to go. Let's get started. Ah, it just takes me back to B A. Oh, I, I need to go with this. I need to go left. You to be much shorter in stature compared to the others. That's weird. Well, that's just because they're older than me. <laughs> I'm not short for my age. Okay, I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> Oh, we got Twilight Fragment chests now. A bold bow. Oh, finally, we got some weapons. Thanks. Glad I kept Yukari on my team then. So no, we didn't we didn't actually beat this. Ooh, speed band, I want that. I'm giving that to Igus, I don't care. Igus gets all of the um upgrades. Because if Igus dies, everyone dies. I don't actually know how many levels there are of this, but we can definitely get a lot more done since, um, you know, we're, there's no di disposition, exposition, yeah. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Wow, this place looks really weird. You know what this? This looks like Okumura's dungeon, for better or for worse. We have the upper hand. The Magic hand, the master hand. Oh, did I get a crit? Oh, let's go! Are you weak to fire? The hands have very... Oh, yeah, they're weak to that. They have very varying weaknesses. They lived. Yeah, here. I'll take the, sh the shuffle time. Um, uh, I'll take the hot experience, I guess. Marincan's kind of meh. Done. Now let's get going. These guys look like they're weak to ice. By the way, uh, 
It turns out I actually did get to work on my ROM hack today. <laughs> yep, that, that, that confirms. <laughs> the episode already has spoilers. Does it? <laughs> I guess the Funi Toaster game number two? <laughs> uh, they make a light, maybe? No. Little ice. Got it. Yeah, I'm almost done Chapter 3 in Down Bad Edition now, so... Hey, my progress in my ROM hack is going extremely well. I'm pretty happy with how that's going. Okay, good, bro. Actually died this time. Uh, Mokoi or Experience? <laughs> Unless it's a new persona, then I don't care. <laughs> I'm doing better than ever. I mean, regardless of what I know about the answer already, it's still pretty fun. I mean, it's just more Tartarus, basically. Except it's different. Ooh, like, look at this dungeon. This dungeon's sick. I was expecting it to change, like, halfway into it. Alright, what do we got? We got a weapon, another weapon. Moogie water. That's eh, it's kinda mid. It's an enemy. Do we attack? It's an enemy. My name's Ken. Bird ups and hands. Crazy. Um, I could use Aggie Loud, I to get do it more damage. Yo, I remember my stupid strategy in, in Persona 3 FES where I would keep, like, weak-ass moves on my Personas so I could, like, hit weaknesses for cheaper later in the game. That was, like, a really stupid strategy I had. But it actually kind of worked. <laughs> it's like, hey, I still have Augie into, like, the last block of Tartarus. Just because I want to hit weaknesses for free and then do an all-out attack. Because all attacks pretty much kill early anyway. Bruh. That didn't kill? Oh, he said hustle like Mike. It's one of my favorite lines where he says hustle like Mike. Like, who's Mike? No one knows who Mike is, but he's hustling like him. Good, we, we really needed that crit. <laughs> I feel like that was plot armor Plot armor Ken getting a crit there. Um that's new. That's a new persona. We did it! That's the way forward. Why the hell does this place turn into like a weird like robotic plant area? <laughs> Jose, is it is this actually what the dungeon is like? Also, these are enemies are weird. Well, I guess I won't get to find out. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I believe these guys are weak to fire and ice. Which makes them pretty easy to kill. I think they're resistant to wind. Could be wrong. Sky Balance can't get up. Wait, um... Should I scan it? Why not? Yeah, fire and ice, like I was saying. Yeah, so as you can see, I put the frickin' Velvet Room outfits on everybody, which is pretty food neat. I can get Dia again, or I can get Moon Knee. I kind of want more Moon Knee, because Dia... I don't really need Dia. Like, the skill cards don't mean too much early game. Unless it's like a really good one, like a elemental that, like an elemental spell you don't have yet. Can I get a crit? No, no crits? Oh shit, yeah, I guess uh, it really does need to heal. 
One case where the nav actually telling me that, like, hey, you're fucking up is actually a good thing. Can we do anything else? You know, I could try... Oh, wait, arrow ring. You didn't get a crit. Dang, no crits. Still. I mean, it's four enemies. The chance for a crit is, like, incredibly high, bro. Eventually, I'll figure out what they're saying in this song. <laughs> this is my resolve. Isn't there another Persona character that says... Oh, yeah, Morgana says that. Morgana says that in Persona 5. Why did I just copy Morgana? I guess copied Morgana confirmed. Well, actually, if anything, Morgana copy I guess? Question mark? <laughs> Um, uh, obtain moon me experience. Um, yeah, more moon, moon me is good. Moon me. <laughs> now I'm saying moon me so much that sometimes I accidentally say money. I'm always happy to team up with everybody. That is weird. That's like some reverse psychology shit there. So when are we gonna get, uh, Mitsuru, Junpei, and Koromaro on our team? How much is there to go? Tartarus was long. I wonder if the abyss of time will be the same. Oh god, don't even say that. <laughs> oh god. More hands. Well, Fuka's getting a lot of Theurgy stored up, that's just good. Persona. You know what? I'm just gonna vacuum slash for the hell of it. Yeah, take that, bitch. Oh, all I meant to do. Oh yeah, it flicks with distress. That's pretty good. It's good to do a bit of chip damage, you know. I'm glad that Dizzy is not like a guaranteed status anymore because. That was one of my least favorite things in Portable. It was kind of annoying. I didn't even check what skill that was. Yo, Orpheus leveled up. And we got Tarunda, which is going to help big time. Swift Strike. Ooh, I can't wait to get that. That's going to be sick. Yeah, I know it's a shadow. You don't need to tell me, bruh. <laughs> All right, we got more bird ups. Yeah, that's gonna help. Pierce. Chip damage isn't something I normally have to do in uh, FPS or reload. Well, just reload. I meant. When I, I meant the journey. The journey. Yeah. I don't have to do chip damage in the journey normally. Yeah, I got, like, really comfortable with using physical skills ever since, um... Actually, I don't know. Ever since, like, I guess Persona 2. Yeah. Hey, Seb, look. It's more Persona. <laughs> he, he fucking left immediately. Ah, oh, finally, a good healing skill. Was, did I do a funny? Yeah, you did a funny. It was for the comedy. Mm -hmm. Also, Jacob. What? What do you think of my my ideas for the badge names? Um, I'm definitely gonna steal some of those ideas. <laughs> hey man, at least give me the credit. I'll give you the credit. I'll be like, thanks to Seb for coming up with these funny badge names. I <laughs> heard they're great, I know. Yeah. And, uh, I, and Zach's gonna be I'm forced to, to play it. Let me see, what did I... Let me see, what, what did I come up with? I know you came up with, like, a broken condom and, uh, protection and stuff like that. I have the cock block badge. Oh, yeah, the which, cock block uh, badge, which I don't even know how I even implement something like that. But it's food. Yeah, that one was... Well, was a joke. I'm not sure what, which, which badge would even... You just rename the cock block, but... Yeah. 
you have the uh, condom badge, which makes you immune to status effects. <laughs> yeah. Which is, it's just feeling fine, but renamed. Yeah, we have the Zap Tab, which we're gonna, we're gonna re rename to the Vibrator. <laughs> yeah. And then we can call Lucky Day the G-Spot. Yeah, and it's gonna cost 10 BP. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's accurate. I guess it just pop a lot of that G spot. Yep. Something you, something you'll never know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's something a lot of us won't know, actually. Hey, man, jokes on you. Was <laughs> down bad. Down bad edition. Goombarius is the down bad one. Yeah, jokes on you. So is my girl. Anyway, beside the point. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're the kind of person who's scared of it? Um, I mean, I'm not really that into the thought of it. Unless the girl has, uh, unless it's a fairy. Unless it's a fairy? No, that's that's Luke's job. <laughs> what do you mean? You used to love fairies. I mean, I do. There's a whole bit with you that you. Oh, I yeah, for, honestly, I, for, I forgot about that bit. Honestly. Dude, I remember. Why well, I I I I, re, I don't know why, but I rewatched the first episode because. Wait a second. I watched the Sonic of Six video that I was in, and I and we mentioned the the bit where we were doing the episode of Honey Pop, and Dominic showed up. That, that is forever like one of the funniest moments. <laughs> and you never made it a clip. That one looks really strong. All right, right that's an easy I'm clip writing, right there. Writing that down right now. <laughs> so I don't forget I again. Like, I also like the clip beforehand where we're talking about like Starburst or something, and I go Starburst. like, "Can we get back to getting?" And I go and I go like, "Hey, can we get back to getting laid?" Can we stop talking about <laughs> can we go back to getting laid? <laughs> that is a good. That is a good bit too. Yeah. Oh, no, it's the fucking like snakes one. again. Oh, right. God, not snakes by one weakness, except I know people who were turned on by snakes. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. Oh, I know damn. people who clicked... I know people who clicked Smash on Arbok. Well, did, did, uh, did Markiplier do that? I don't know, he didn't, but I know one of my friends did, and she told me to strangle me. I was like, <laughs> huh. strangle. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's a universal one. Everyone, every female on the planet clicks yes on the uh, the machoke line. Makes sense. All right, let's see yes, if I let's really see if I can get the lucky insta kill. Yeah, like we all have Gardevoir, they just have Machamp right there. Yo! <laughs> I mean, come on, look, it's right. It's literally just a buff guy with four arms. What's what's there to hate? Well, depending on who you ask, I think some might prefer Machoke more because the four arms kind of a uh, turn off. Well, then you have the choice, whatever. Yeah. Well, actually, now that I think about it, does that mean that those those chicks, they like Goro from Mortal Kombat? <laughs> he also Maybe. has four arms. Maybe. You know what's yeah. another one I see a lot of, I see a lot of girls pick? Ooh, Maragi. What? Tentacruel. Well, can't say I'm surprised with that. <laughs> I'll always give my all for my sister. No, I remember there was one, like, one of my friends, and eight. Click Smash for both Beedra, not Beedra, I mean, uh, uh what, what's the name of thing? Meta, Metapod and Kakuna, and I was like, why'd you click that for both of them? It's like, dude, one's, one's shaped like a penis, the other's shaped like a butt plug, and I'm like, huh. And now I can't unsee whenever I look at the two. <laughs> then again, uh, we, have we haven't been able to unsee what Onyx and Cloyster look like for years, so. <gasps> a hand! Master hand. Oh, yeah, Cloyster. Yeah, Cloyster was another one. Yeah. Yeah, and I think people, I feel like some people said yes to Shelter too, just because the thing has a tongue sticking out. Understandable. Mm. Crit? Get a crit, maybe? Fuck. Oh, uh, what's another one? Lick a ton? I didn't, I would, I'd say no, but Lick a ton, I've seen that one. Mm. Nah. I like how this just turned yeah, into a Smasher yeah. Pass Pokemon. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> It seems like I the kind of it right. seems like the kind of talk that we would say for Honey Pop, but uh, you know. Um, yeah, we did that one already, and also you oh. haven't touched that game in years. Yeah, I, I don't really think there's much more for me to do in that game besides just You're like. You're not gonna try to be beat it. I don't know, man. I still have to beat Punch Out as well, which I'm gonna probably do after I beat this game. Dude, you realize there's a final boss to Honey Pop, right? There's a final boss in Honey Pop. What? Yeah, there's a final- I'm not even joking at them, there's literally a final boss. What the fuck? Yeah, you have to like bang every uh, pairing the game gives you, and then you can go do the final boss. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> also, the hand is gone. Rip. I wasn't fast enough. Alright, should I wanna... put on Moragi? Actually, Jacob, you wanna know what's a weird one that I saw a lot of yeses for? What? Mewtwo. Mewtwo? Really? Why? Well, because Mewtwo. Dude, people didn't even give me logic for that one. I just click smash and moved on. This is just fuck you, it's Mewtwo. Yeah. Lucky, gem. Actually, here's something. None of my friends that did it, but on the website, it tells you how many people pick Smash. You know what's one of the ones that I like the most smashes out of anything? What? Nine Tails. That sounds like something Zack would pick, honestly. Yeah, I'm like, okay, not even. Not Vaporeon? Not 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 <laughs> Maybe. But uh, one of the main things with Nine Tails is that if you touch its tail, you can get like forever burn or something. What a I just don't think that happens if you touch its tail. What do people want to get burned or something? I don't know. Maybe that's a king. There's a king for everything nowadays. Like, like women like getting choked. Well, at this point, you just kind of have to accept it. <laughs> All right, let's kill some snakes. Let's kill some motherfucking snakes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I'm yeah, not Ditto's an obvious one. Ditto? Oh, yeah. Because it, well, it, like... it can turn into Machoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, the snakes live. Oh, 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 of course. Here's the thing, I kinda only I stopped at Ge after Gen 1 to Gen 2 onwards. It was like, that's too much effort. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I could theoretically make a Smasher Pass video for Pokemon. Well, you said. No idea, because you're like, dude, I want to do the wife, I'm not a fucking weirdo or something. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I said, like, I want to write the wife here instead. <laughs> let's see here. Oh, yeah, it tells you. Let's see. Let's see here. Bulbasaur. Holy shit. You oh, wanna, my you God. You want to fuck Bulbasaur? No, no, no. Let me tell you this. One million fifty-eight thousand three hundred fifty-two people said pass, and then two hundred ninety-five thousand one hundred fifty-seven people said smash. Wait, so what's the percentage there? I kind of blinked. Uh, the percentage there. Okay, let's make some progress. Uh, yeah. One zero five. Eight three five two. Simple math. Plus. Two nine five one five seven equals. I have to screenshot that because I cannot remember that for the life of me. <laughs> they need to win. One zero five oh. eight. They block win. Shit. Three five two divided by one three five three five oh nine. Oh, they're weak to punch. All right, so seventy eight. Point nineteen percent of people said they 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 would not fuck a uh, Bulbasaur. Well, good, cause that'd be weird. <laughs> and fuck you for making me do that math. Well, I'm mean... just gonna I might do this accurately. I accidentally click smash the Bulbasaur, so it's probably not gonna be accurate. But uh, no one wants to do the, the Bulbasaur line. No one's gonna smash Charizard. But people would smash Blastoise. Nope. Oh? No. Yeah, they're all kind of low numbers. I'm not doing any of this. I think this makes sense. Let's see, I'm no only until we find a big number. Huh, it surprisingly increased a bit for Pidgey. I still like horrible odds, but like, weird. Oh, I thought people would want to fuck a bird, Jesus. Nate. Oh, it's. Arbok. Arbok kind of evens out. <laughs> Damn. I like, I feel like people are keeping track of this shit. Like, yeah, we're, we're keeping track of the fact that uh, people are. It's a website, so they just they just like calculate it's a website, so they just be like whoever uses it. Oh. Red shoes has some numbers. That makes sense. It's the mascot Pokemon. Oh god, uh, Needle Queen is just even. Oh. Is there is there de is there actually dead ass a new Beetlejuice movie? Is that why I keep yes. seeing Beetlejuice everywhere? Because I watched that movie like last year. Yeah, they're making a new one, I think. Oh hell and yeah! And they're, they're not even, and they're not even getting uh, what's his name? Who plays Beetlejuice? As, I know it's Adam something. Adam Sandler? It's not Sandler, you idiot. Oh, I don't know any other Adams. <laughs>
There's a treasure. I mean, because I went to Walmart today, and there was like. Oh, no, it's not Alex. It's, it's Alex. Alex. Yeah, Alex Brighton. That's the guy. He does it in Broadway. He does Beetlejuice for Broadway. <laughs> Beetlejuice for Broadway. What about what about what about, what about Beetlejuice custard on Broadway? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make Cross Part 3. Make, let's make Beetlejuice on Broadway. <laughs> Beetlejuice on Broadway. That is fucking amazing. That would be our goal for go back to Infinite Cross. We, we need Beetlejuice on Broadway. That's the, only, on Broadway. that's the only goal for the episode. Everything, every joke. I feel like we're joking now, but like in a week or two, we're gonna commit to the bit. You know, I'm gonna write it down just because of how funny it sounds. If anything, that's gonna be the title of this episode, Beetlejuice on Broadway. Wait, do you still have the Infinite Crafts thing saved? Or, like, if I if I told you to go log on to Infinite Crafts real quick, would it, like, start over, or would... Let's find... Do you think it's... Let, let's find out, Seb. Wait, wait, let me check your screen share before you go. Oh my god, all right, yes! Go. All of it's still here! <laughs> yes! Wait, show me, show me. Dude, I only see Persona, bro. Oh, okay. Um... How about I just send you a screenshot, because I'm lazy. Sure. Yeah, I'll send I'll send proof, uh, like of all the random BS that I have. Like I'm not I'm not joking. There it is. It, we have it. We have like Christ, Judge, Doki Doki Panic, Sonic X, and all that dumb shit that we yeah, saved. Toho. Up. Have you dedicated a whole episode to Toho? Yeah, and I did find Toho, and I was able to find like all the Toho characters after that. You almost gave up too. Yeah, I almost gave up it. Oh my god, it's all still here. Mm-hmm. Yep, all of it, including Cthulhu Custer on Broadway. <laughs> the best thing. Oh god, why is Vulpix even? Ew. Oh god. Oh. Alright, let's keep that up. Man, this place is hella confusing. Hey, that one's not like the others. Hey Jacob, can I read you a word? What do you mean a what? So, according to this, 348,434 people pass on Nine Tails, and 718,670 people are gonna smash it. I'm gonna assume that's like at least like 70%. Yes. Crazy. Well, yeah, no, it equals to a, like a bit. I mean, no. A Jigglypuff. Yep. Oh, no one yes. wants to fuck Zubat line. No one's fucking Oddish, no one's fucking the Parasect line, no. Alright, you know what? Diglett! Or via mode. You know, women like Diglett. They like moles? They like fucking moles? That's crazy. Dude, it's shaped like a penis. Of course women are gonna like it. Oh. Literally, you just sit on the thing and it's like, bam. <laughs> it's like, bam. <laughs> it's a connection. Don't you dare run, bro. Yeah, scan this enemy, this is important. Oh, wait, the strike! Right, yes! Yes! Right now. People want to fuck Persian? Um... Weird, but okay. Swift strike! Minky. Oh, and Oh Orf god, why is it- why is Growlithe kind of even? There's still more passes than smashes, but it's still kind of even. Hmm. This just makes me think that the society is doomed. I think I know society is doomed. I've been society is I've been definitely knowing... doomed. People want to fuck the fire dog. Uh, like I don't even care that this one doesn't have consequences. I just think, why do you want to fuck a dog? I mean, that's the thing. Do people want to go to jail? <laughs> Wait, why would you go to jail for fucking the dog? Bro, you go. You, you can go to jail for fucking the dog. Who's when? What charge is there for fucking a dog? I don't know. Wait, wait, be wait bestiality is illegal? I don't know if that's like something people judge you for. I'm pretty sure, at least in Canada, it's illegal. <laughs> yeah, maybe not in the States. Yeah, well, the States is weird. They, they legalize everything. In fact, I don't know. They legalize some shit, and then they legalize other weird things. Alright, let's keep going. Better start, yep. better start making uh, McDonald's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, here we go. We're at the Machoke line. Oh boy. 
That is one confusing ass four. All right, let's see. I I'm not ready. Come on, let's oh God, okay. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Okay. It's like let's basically even. <laughs> oh, there it is. Well, I think that's enough. I think that's enough Pokemon. No, I'm okay. Fuck you. I'm. I'm oh, Bellsprout line. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, I've had enough of Pokemon intercourse for one day. <laughs> Why is Bellsprout even out? Do people take it down on a on Vic Creepel just because I'm assuming because of the two little things? gonna slash at that guy. You know what? For shits and giggles, actually, uh, do arrow rain. Why? Why? Why Rapidash? I don't know, man. <laughs> Rapidash? Oh, I, got, oh, I got a food in the idea. I'm gonna Bufula, and then I'm gonna switch to I guess and do another swift strike. <laughs> do it. Do it. Yes, I got a crit. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Alright, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice Custard Broadway. For the win. <laughs> Beetlejuice Custard Broadway. Zio. Ugh. That's not gonna do anything to me, buddy. This reminds me of that fucking one cutscene from uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic Riders. I didn't play that game. Okay, there's this one really funny cutscene where, uh, like, Amy's acting all flirty with Sonic, and then she, like, walks away and does a little wink at him, and then Sonic just goes, ooh. <laughs> it's so funny. Dude, is... Oh, here it is. I never played the Riders games, I always saw them like a bad Mario Kart rip -off. I was like, dude, you failed once at Sonic Drift. You're failing again. You're not gonna do well until Sega also racing, and then you're still gonna drop the ball with Sonic Team Racing. Damn, I can't believe uh, I can't believe their balls drop. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of issues with Sonic Team Racing. Like the voicing is kind of weird with some characters. Uh, the teams are weird. You could have had a great Heroes reference, but no. Cream, Espio, and Chemi aren't in the game. Well, you know what I just realized? There's like three different Sonic racing games. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, there's the Drift games, the Rider games, and the... Oh, and the, like, the racing Oh, oh no, no, no oh, there, there's four games. There's four types of games, then, because there's Drift, Sonic R, oh, R Riders, right. okay, R. and uh, Team Sonic Racing, and Sonic All-Star Racing. And R. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say R, but you mentioned Drift, and I was like, oh, I forgot Drift exists. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about Drift or the sequel. Yeah, Drift, more like... Mid, Did you know mid sequel? Yeah, I knew, but it, it wasn't included in the Sonic Mega Collection, so I never got to play I mean, it. The only thing I think about when I played the first one was like, man, isn't it kind of ass that you it can only ass. use C after screen? Why are all the levels from Sonic 1? Man, this turning is stiff. It kind of and sucks that the obstacles only show up like a And that's why way. Sonic Drift sucks. Where's Knuckles? Yeah, Knuckles, it took Knuckles uh, until the second game to even show up. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. Amy shows up before Knuckles. Technically, Amy shows up before Tails in the timeline. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because even though CD came out after, to CD takes place before two, which I guess explains why Sonic's spin death is kind of ass. Yeah, and also, also, and also wrong, wasn't it like originally established in two that Tails teaches Sonic how to spin death? Um, I mean, yeah, maybe, but maybe that's maybe that maybe like Sonic, maybe Sonic learned how to spin dash, and Tails just said like, "Hey, dumbass, here's how you do it." Dude, dude, Sonic Origins, Sonic Origins makes it so that Tails didn't. No, he could fucking fly until he saw Sonic walk past him. <laughs> wow. Dude, Sonic, you're dying! Ooh, Medea. Sure, I'll take off another like, free Medea card. Like, really, basically, there's, there's like these mini cutscenes between the games, and between CD and 2, there's a bit where Tails sees Sonic running through an island, and he gets motivated to follow him. He starts running, and then he looks at his tail, like, oh, I'm flying! And I'm like, have you never done that before? Tails have you gets never, a... like, have Is you that... never run before? Does that confirm that when Tails gets a, gets a boner, he starts flying? <laughs> <laughs> the, only time, the only thing that reminds me is that... Have you, have you watched the Sonic Boom cartoon? 
Um, not really. I've only seen bits and pieces, like the Knuckles meme approve and shit. Yeah, it, well, it's a good show. You should watch it. I think it's good. The only thing that sucks is that the animation's kind of limited, but whatever. I mean, is, I mean, I want to, personally, I want to watch uh, Sonic X first, but that's just me. I, I watched Sonic X. I watched like, the first 20 episodes. I kind of just like stopped. Well, it, ha it has uh, it has that like 2000 Sonic charm that I really like. You just want to watch it because Jason Griffith's in it. Well, I mean, that's another good reason to watch it. Also, yes, I, find, I used to call him just the guy who was in Sonic like midway through his life. I didn't know his fucking name. Oh, like, wow. Originally, the only voice actor for Sonic I knew like by name was Roger Craig Smith. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind Roger Craig Smith, but I think he sounds a little too old as Sonic. I, mean, he, I like him in Boom, and I like him in Frontiers. In oh, Boom, yeah. He's hilarious. In Boom, he, not like the game Boom, like the show Boom. Yeah, like, honestly, horror. honestly, like, I think if Roger Craig Smith was exclusively voicing Boom Sonic, it wouldn't be that bad. It would be like, it would be like, that would be like one of the best Sonics, actually. I like, I like, how, here's the thing, you gotta differentiate, like, how he sounds versus what he's saying. Like, I like how he sounds with Sonic in, like, Lost World and Colors. I just don't like his dialogue in those games. Well, true, they did give Sonic some pretty mid-dialogue in those games. Like, Colors has a lot of twin lines. Like, one of the only funny ones I remember is that no copyright law in the universe is gonna stop me. And he just makes a joke. I mean, that, line, that line's pretty legendary. That's just, yeah, the, that's, just, that's just like the slogan of every um, video game music channel. <laughs> every video game yeah. channel, mu mu video game music channel be like, no copyright law in the universe is gonna stop me. And, and, put, and, then, and then as a joke, you just put a little, this video's been taken down for copyright purposes. Yeah, exactly. Like, th there was a guy, I don't remember his name, but there was a guy who uploaded music, and his banner, his fucking YouTube banner, was that screenshot. <laughs> of and, Sonic saying it? Yeah, and eventually his channel got taken down, like, four or five years later. <laughs> Damn. Um, oh, wait, wait, here's another thing. So, if I'm going through everything Roger did, let's see. I think he first showed up in Colors. He did Generations, he that was good. pretty good. He, well, I'm, I'm gonna go in order. He showed up in Colors, he sounded good in Colors, the script was awful. Then he shows up, I think, is next Generations or is next Boom? Uh, it's Generations, and then Lost World, I think. Oh, uh, damn, Boom? What's up? Okay, now I'm talking about the game, because technically the game came out before the show, right? The, it was the, I think the game and the show came out, like, on the same day. Oh. Something like that. Well, that bird fell over. Well, and then there's also Sonic Boom on the 3DS. We don't talk we don't about that one. We don't want to count that. We don't, want, we don't want to talk about either of the 3DS games. Well, any of the 3DS games. I mean, there's Generations 3DS, Lost World 3DS. No, I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the Boom one. Boom 3DS. <laughs> Oh, boom boom games. Point. For some reason, they had two boom games on 3DS. Yeah, you have Fire Knife, and then you have a uh, Shattered Crystal. No, One's just it, a rival's ripoff, and no, the other's just kind of no, whatever. No, it, it's, it's Shattered Crystal and then Fire and Ice, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think they're both just like rival's ripoffs. No, they're like weird, like 2D, like Metroidvania y kind of game. Well, not Metroidvania, but like it has an annoying gimmick where you have to return to old levels to like with new abilities. To like progress. Oh, I hate that. Oh, but, it, but it's so, not good. <laughs> it's like, all these games, he sounds good, but his script is just awful. I think the game that has the best script is like Generations. Even though I think the script of Generations is just kind of mid. Man, it's, it's 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 a little too safe for an anniversary game. Yeah, it's just kind of just like what you expect. Yeah. Then he's in Forces, and again, he sounds good in Forces, but again, okay, the script in Forces isn't bad. It's just I feel nothing when I play that game, because one, I had to 100% it, and actually I haven't finished yet. There's still oh like... God. A... Well, here's like, I'm literally like right done. There's like two things I have left to do. I have to do some SOS missions, and then I have to get all the red rings. Hmm, SO, SOS, more like SOL missions, got them. I don't even know what that reference is, so uh, it, jokes on you. It, it, means, it means shit out of luck. <laughs> oh. Uh, what do you think? Oh yeah, um, uh, 
so he's in forces, and he's cool. So then he shows up in Frontiers, and then they like pitch his voice down a bit. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't know they did that. I haven't played Force or Frontiers. Yeah, they pitch his voice down. I think they pitch everyone's voice down in that game. Yeah, because it's just a more serious game. Ray Carm, yay! Well, that, well here's the, the thing with Frontiers is that it's kind of more of just exploring Sonic's relationship with the first three people he met. Basically, you know, that's, 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 boring. Is, right? that's boring though. They, they, they've always done that shit though. I, I want to see more of like, you know, the Team Chaotix and stuff. I mean, okay, yeah, bro, but it's been a minute, bro. Like, we had all these new people in their games or whatever. Like, they just took it back to Formula. We just get to, we get some time with Tails, we get some time with Amy, and we get some time with Knuckles. But we get time with them in every game. Oh, we're done. But actually, I think the order is Amy, Knuckles, Tails. Yeah. I mean, like, I know Amy and Tails are in Unleashed, so there's that. Uh, Tails is in, like, every Sonic game, because he's in he's in Generations, he's in uh, Lost World, he's in Colors. So Tails gets a lot of screen time, so, like, I'm just like, I'm, I'm sick of Tails, bro. I want yeah, some other Tails Sonic characters. Yeah, Tails in, like, half the game. Literally, in Colors, right before the final Don't boss, Tails is with you. And Sonic just like shoves him into like an elevator that's gonna take him back down the hill. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Anyways, cutscene. Like we've reached the first goal. This place was bigger than I thought. How many more times we gotta do this? I don't know for sure, but judging by the desert of doors, I'm betting it's not going to be just once or twice. What is this Prince of Persia? And then in the Lost World, he gets kidnapped, like, a little bit into the game, <laughs> and then he's turned into a robot. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic's kind of a douche in that game. He literally, like, kicks Tails into the fucking machine or whatever. Well, he doesn't do it on purpose. Tails just jumps in front of him and gets kicked into the thing. Oh. Uh, and then, and then he, 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 he says, like, one of the fucking cheesiest lines in the whole game. He was like, I was too slow to save my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he... Tails is in Generations, and again, that game is the most safe thing ever, so he's just kind of there. Also, what a way to represent Sonic's history by only showing Tails in the cutscenes until the final cutscene. <laughs> yep. Like, I know his friends show up elsewhere, but like, literally, in every cutscene, it's just the two Sonics and the two Tails. You don't see any of his other friends, unless it's the world map. Yeah, pretty mid. Then he- the, then there's Boom. So and tell he's like, oh, dude, I didn't, I didn't even say what I was going to say. So, you mentioned that Only he gets a boner when he flies or whatever. But, uh, so there's an episode of Boom where Tails falls in love with a girl. Oh, boy. And, and, I, and like, it's not even relevant, but, like, as he's falling in love, like, you see his, you see him start to, like, fly. What's wrong? Mm-hmm. And Sonic oh. put, puts it down, like, I think Tails has a crush. <laughs> Tails. I finally had some peace. <laughs> he just, so I just puts it in there, like, I think Tails has a crush. Not look back. But now it feels like nothing's changed. I thought we were through with fighting. Yukari. Time doesn't flow normally here. So it's no surprise you feel that way. You'll find that there will be many opportunities to revisit your past here. Hey, well, oh yeah, I, I didn't fucking finish. Then there's, uh, Forces, and, uh, we don't talk about Tails and Forces. Yeah, Sonic Foreskin. I don't care about that game. No, but, but oh, Tails, flashbang. though, specifically. Here's oh. the thing. Tails... Here's the shot. In that game, I... Here's the thing. I don't know why, in Forces, they give Tails more of a relationship with classic Sonic. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Especially because it's not like, really... Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, Seb. It's actually... You're a Sonic from another dimension! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Stan Redcon was so stupid. They didn't need to do it. Yeah. Oh my God, Junpei's face. Something seems off. Oh, and then there's the iconic bit where uh, he's scared of Chaos Zero. Oh yeah, we talked about that before. But you want to know something else in that scene that some people don't mention? What? So he's so before Chaos Four shows up, he's trying to fix Omega and he can't do it. But, like, you figure Tails would be able to fix Omega, no? Yeah, that'd be pretty dope. What are you oh, yeah, doing Omega, here? probably the most underused character in the whole thing. In which game? In, in, in ever. Like, oh, literally. Ever. Yeah, literally, from Forces, the last time we saw Omega in a main Sonic game, I think, was 06. 
and I, I love Sonic 06. I, we, we, we saw a bit of him in Shadow's campaign a few nights ago. And um, I just made a fucking Lythero joke about, about Omega getting pissed off at Shadow and Rouge eating the Poison Sun chips. <laughs> oh, but it's spring break. Spring break? That was a couple months ago. It's July now. And what's with the getup? You all headed somewhere? Was it? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Um, it... No. What? We're just. Uh... <laughs> they think it. They think it's spring break. <laughs> Who? The the high school students. Since you kids are oh, well. Uh, in the, so Omega, he hasn't shown up since '06. You're up to something. You and here's the thing: in '06, he has a weird voice. Like, has Omega spoken yet, or no? Or is he just kind of like chilling? Oh yeah, he does have a weird voice in Sonic 06. It's like Rouge the Bat. Yeah, exactly like that. I love his hero's voice more. That, that shit's hilarious. Well, yeah, because here's the thing. Well, doesn't he have the same voice in uh? In oh Shadow, wait, that... Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh wait, dude, I I don't know why I always think Omega's in us. Uh, is it wait? Is Omega in Sonic Adventure too, or am I just tripping balls? No, he he was introduced in Heroes. Dude, Omega's first game was I, this whole time. I thought I, I convinced myself Omega's first game is Adventure. I was like, yeah, no, he was in Adventure too before he was in Heroes. I'm like, nope. no, no, because otherwise Eggman wouldn't be a part of the Dark Story campaign. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I mean honestly, if they introduced Omega game earlier, he would have been perfect. He could have just like he just could have taken over Eggman's job, honestly. So when he said, it's well, July, I mean, it's mean? nice that that July, you get to play as Eggman for once. Yeah, especially in the Chow like, Garden. That's like peak Eggman right there. Chow Garden that's Eggman is the, that's the best Eggman. That's impossible. Well, creepy Eggman's yeah. best Eggman. This is the past. Hey, I mean, I sure. Um, what else? Hey, yeah, so Omega, he's listening? in Heroes, and then Shadow, and then O Six, and then he's gone. He skipped he generations, even though I'm pretty sure he's, even though he's a robot, he's one of Sonic's friends. And we don't see him again until Forces, and he's fucking atrocious in Forces. I didn't, in even, I, I, Shadow, I, I didn't even know he was in Forces. He is in Forces. You want, you want to know why you don't, we forget he's in Forces? Why? Because he's a shitty Deus Ex, he's, he's one of the worst Deus Ex Machina's I've ever seen. What the fuck? Because really, basically the story with Omega is, in episode Shadow, twice, he charges into Eggman's factory by himself and Shadow has to go save him. Is he, he only in the episode twice. Shadow? Huh? Is he only in episode Shadow? No, he's in the main story too. Yeah, but, see, I don't, uh, I don't remember him even being in the main campaign. Yeah, well really? the point here is... um, So twice, once in the prequel comic, the and then again... In the, in the episode of Shadow, he charges into Eggman's factory by himself, and Shadow has to go save him. Wow, what a dumbass! So that's a great. Tell me, yeah. What is this place? Then, he's left behind in the middle of a town for six months after Eggman Wait, takes over, sure and Tails just eventually door, decides, remember? "Oh, hey, let me go get Omega." <laughs> Doors like that are located throughout. They take Omega, and then you don't see Omega until the house. end of the game. Right before the like the big fight at the end, Omega shows up and tries to shoot Infinite with like a cannon or something, and it, it just doesn't phase him. And then that's it. Omega doesn't do anything for the rest of the game. Really yeah, Omega did his job. Let's go home. It didn't even work. Can you explain the different? <laughs> he tried. Let's go home. But it seems you can't just go anywhere yeah. in the past. And then I think the only Maybe other time we've seen Omega house. recently was in a uh, Team Sonic Racing. I don't yeah, but I don't want to count that. Else, even though that has like, even though that game does have like some of the highest quality Sonic renders right now, unfortunately. I mean, you know what's another character that's been mixed a lot? Oh, what? Man. Cream, because like, well, Cream last with seen generations, but then, you know what they had the audacity to do? What? They candor out of uh, up here. they candor out of Let's Team Sonic Racing, and you know who they replaced her with? What? Oh my child. That is a weird replacement. Whatever we get here. Yeah, literally, what they did was instead of cream, you get Oma Chow and then four random Chow with them. Perhaps that's dumb. That's why the door let us here should have made should have made a Omo Chow like the DLC or something. 
It may I know. Have reflected your so that so Team Rose is Amy, Big, like Big made it. Like what, what made it so that Big was more qualified to make it than a uh, than a uh, Cream? Um, why, why Big? She seems to Maybe be it's because uh, it's also Big was in Adventure know. One and he has a bit more relevance. I don't know. <laughs> he's not relevant. The most relevant thing he's ever done is constantly lose his damn frog. Well, to be fair. That's the thing, though. Cream was in Sonic Advance 2 and 3, so she was pretty relevant as well. Even though Advance hasn't been re-released for some reason. Well, I think in Advance 3, the plot is that Cream's mom got kidnapped, so we gotta go get her. Why the abyss of time oh, yeah. Was called as such. It was a place where one could revisit and, uh, what else? Looking back on it now, oh, yeah, and then the also t Team Chaotix is weird, because for some reason... Oops. Team, it's called Team Vector now. And instead of Why? Charmy and Espio, you get Silver and Blaze. That's stupid. Like they they could have been their own team. Like there's got to be an extra character. Like you have the four teams from Heroes. You have Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, All right. uh, Shadow, Rouge, Omega. You have uh, what, is, what else was uh, it? Then you have your Team Rose, stuck. Amy, Big, and Cream. And then you have Vector, Charmy, Espio. Oh, and then there's Team got? Eggman, uh, which is so weird. Sure. It's a deal. Totally because it's Pretty Eggman, Metal Sonic, and then Zavok. Which one? I thought those two had beef. Zavok is dumb. Nobody likes uh, him. What are you looking for? Yeah, secondly, why the hell would he know how to drive a car? <laughs> why would he drive a car? How many are you granting that? Alright, I'll take that. Cross all the red ribbon. I'll take that. I need something to sell so I can buy this uh, armor. You, you would have been a better. You want know a missed opportunity? What? They could have had Orbot and Cubot bit replace him and have it as like Orbot drives and Cubot pushes the pedal. Yeah, no, that'd be great. You finished? Come back soon. I'll upgrade my armor later. And then you could have had Silver and Blaze in a separate thing. So here's yeah. the question who's. Who's the third character? Who goes with Silver and Blaze? Um. You like the new stuff we got in stock. That's a good left. question. Yeah? Which yeah, who's left? Who's left? What sort of character have we not Which thought about yet? Um. Well, that's the thing, because, like, even Sonic 06 dev team didn't know. They're like, uh, Amy? <laughs> they, they didn't know. <laughs> they're just like, yeah, they're like, uh, Amy? You want Amy? You, you, you want Amy, guys? Come again. <laughs> yeah, here, you take Amy, and she's probably the worst controlling character in the game. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is, like, I don't know, Princess Elise. <laughs> well, what's the explanation they're gonna be? Oh, yeah, they sent me an invite from Soliana. Yeah, Princess Elise would make more fucking sense than Amy. I can tell you that. Oh, wait, you're talking about a. a, a I thought you were talking about a Team Sonic Racing. No, you're talking about a 6. No, I'm talking about Team Sonic Racing still. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't make sense because of the way Sonic 06 ends. Oh, uh, yeah. At least wouldn't know them. Okay. Mm. Accept treatment. Go to. Uh... What if they just brought back. What if they, what if they just took Eggman Nega? I'm sure. They could put. They could throw him in. Or I don't um, know. Or how. I don't know. How one of the fucking guys from Sonic Rush Adventure? Throw him in. Throw one of those characters in. I don't know. Like fucking uh, Marine the Raccoon and bring her back. <laughs> that, that would work. The game even canon? I think so. I don't know. Ask, or, ask, 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 back? I don't know. Google it. Google it. is is Sonic Adver Sonic Rush Adventure canon? <laughs> or he's one of you bringing back E one hundred two three Omega? You mean E one hundred two Gamma? Fuck you. <laughs> They're very different characters. Well, I used to think Omega and E one hundred two Gamma were the same person. Yeah, I used to think that as well, honestly. Because huh? I never played Gamma's story, so I just I didn't know he dies at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. It's like that amazing uh, animated oh, film wow. called Mega Man Dies at the End. Also, you know, what's the point the of doors. having Gamma be a playable character? But he's just gonna die, and I would show up for the final battle. Um, because it's like a unique story. That's why. But I guess it's not completely improbable, since this place seems to be fully connected to the abyss of time now. Maybe it was influenced by everyone thinking of making frequent supply trips. In any case, this will certainly make it easier to go back mm. and forth. 
Hell yeah. I'm still trying to think here. What's another character? Do we seriously have nothing? Oh, what if they secretly? What if they take Mephilus? <laughs> <laughs> Put him on the bad guy team. Seriously? Hey, actually, actually, wait. So what's the deal with Mephilus? Hey, I know Iblis just like is written to never exist. But what happens to Mephilus? Um, I don't know. I guess he just doesn't exist. But but the. We secured a means to acquire supplies. We remain trapped in the dorm. What awaits us further inside the labyrinth? Nice. Uh huh, that's right. Junpei and Koromaru have rejoined the party. About fucking time. I'd say that's mission mm -hmm. accomplished, yeah? Nothing to it. Just leave the exploring to us. But it was Igus who found the supply route, not you. Mm. Yeah, you sure did good, Junpei. Great. I thought I'd be doing alright, making sure my stamina doesn't get any worse, but guess I thought wrong. Actual combat can't compare to working out at the gym, but that's just an excuse. Uh -huh. It looks like it'll take Kurijo-senpai a little more time to research for intel. I'm currently going mm. through all the documents she's found so far, but it shouldn't take too long. There's a lot we have now, so I'm sure we'll find something. Huh? The view outside the window looks normal, but I can't shake this weird feeling. I can't exactly put my finger on it. For all I know, it could just be my imagination. Nice cars. That's so mm. exciting. Truth be told, I think I'm actually starting to enjoy this exploring stuff. Isn't it rather fun, sister? Yes, it is. How do I put this? I know we need to hurry and get through the abyss for your sake, but it'd be kind of sad for all this to come to an end, if you get what I'm saying. Who would have thought we'd be back at it again with this endless exploration? I'll just do what I do best. No slacking off for me. Don't want to cause trouble for our leader, Aichan. I can't understand what he's trying to convey as well as he did before. Koromaro-san seems motivated, I think. Hey, Jacob. What? You know thing I find funny? Out of all the Deadly Six, the only two that ever showed up again were uh, Zavok and Zaz. And if you're not aware, have you played Sonic Dash? No. Well, it's a mobile game where you just kind of... It's like a subway surface, but with Sonic. And then there's bosses. And one of the bosses is Zaz. That's <laughs> so stupid. I know, it's so random. Like, you fight Eggman and Zaz. Is he called Zaz because he's a spaz? Maybe. But the thing is, I never played Lost World, so Sonic Dash was my introduction to Zaz. Like, cool. <laughs> and you, like you, you, you were like, who the fuck is Zaz? I'm like, yeah, he's kind of cool. And then I played Lost World, I was like, oh, he's a bitch. <laughs> Bro, he changed, he changed your mind on him so quick. Yeah, I was like, I was like oh, he's scary and cool. I was like, oh, he's just a crazy bitch. Oh, okay, cool. Elizabeth's requests exist? I didn't know Elizabeth had requests. Marvelous. Well, thanks for the Twilight Fragments, I guess. Are you accepting a request? Alright, um... Bring a Muscle Drink. By all means. Bring me Meteor Knuckles. By all means. Come to think of it. I will okay. Uh, treasure hunting milestone, persona fusion milestone, special fusion milestone. Oh. Jacob, you know something nutty they could do? What? What if they bring back the storybook characters? Um, which ones? <laughs> I don't know, like the genie? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Razor Jin, one of the best the characters Razor ever. Jin, the, the, the lady, the lady, what's her name? Oh. Uh, Chantal? Sasha or something. I don't fucking remember. Sasha, right? I don't. I don't. I, I might be wrong about that too. Create a persona with gigantic fist and defeat 150 shadows. I mean, these are gonna be. E I argue these might be easier than the ones in uh, the original reload because they uh, don't require me to go around the fucking world and collect dumb shit. Actually, wait, here's something weird. Here's thing I keep thinking: is, is Knuckles in Unleashed? Nope, he's not. Un unlike un in Unleashed for some reason. 
Tails and Amy are though for some reason, so Nucleus got the short stick. Sense, but like Amy, Amy just kind of shows up. Welcome to the Amy shows up for a funny bit, and then she's not there for any other reason. And then you don't see her again until the final cutscene, where it's just shown she's just hanging out with Professor Pickle. Yeah, Pick Pickle. Please choose the first. What else? Ooh. And then randomly, Knuckles and Amy are in Lost World, and you don't even see them in person. You're, they're just on the phone with Sonic. Yep. I could make Genbu. Like, they don't do anything. They should talk Sonic, and then they die. <laughs> and then they die. I'm not even joking about that. Like, literally, there's a cutscene where you see them die. That's funny. They die. Well, you don't see them die. You just see them, like, fading away on the phone, and then it cuts. Oh, and then yeah. The phone. I'm Lost World, right? And the connection. I don't and then the that connection question. just terminates. Eh. Alright, um... I mean, let's see, I'm trying to, let me think of now. What's Knuckles' timeline here? So Knuckles is in 3. He's, no, I always find it weird. Can't make if, King you, Frost. If, you play, if you play just Sonic and Knuckles, you can't play as Tails. You can only play as Sonic or Knuckles. Mabufu mm -hmm. Garu. So then he's in Sonic Adventure, where, where he just kind of gets fooled like an idiot. Wow, what a dumbass! And also, he get, he has a sleep paralysis demon. Wow, right, look at the, look at this awesome persona. <laughs> Ew, I hate it. <laughs> it's just a skull and then a he's snake. Then Adventure Two, and he breaks the Master Emerald, and he has cool goggles that we never see again. We need we need more uh, 06 Eggman, and then I'll be happy. No, I'm not even being funny. If I see 06 Eggman <laughs> in another Sonic game, I'm actually gonna never touch Sonic again. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. Sa 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 did, so Sa did you see the uh, clip I uploaded today? What? <laughs> the Egg Wyvern quick kill that, that Zach did. Oh. It's so funny. Wait, Jacob. What? <clears throat> um, Will you I have a knuckles in the few rows, and he doesn't like snapping in my game. This is your progress so far. And knuckles is in shadow, he does nothing in that game. Wow, what a loser. Yeah, you guys, I mean, he's kind of there for both those games. I always find it. I forget, like, we Knuckles just has a random voice actor for Heroes and Ryan Shadow. We get his, like, definitive voice actor. In what? Shadow the Hedgehog? Yeah, I think that's the first time he has, like... The, the guy from Shadow voices him in the new stuff, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. Really? N Knuckles, had, really? Knuckles has surprisingly had a lot of voice actors. I think he only had, like, three. He has... The nah. dude from Adventure One to Heroes. No. The dude no, from actually, no, here's the thing. Like... The, the, Knuckles actually had a different VA in Adventure One, and then he got a new VA in Adventure Two in Heroes, and then he got a new VA in uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, and then he got a new one in uh, Generations, and then he got a new one in Team Sonic Racing, I think, <laughs> which is probably the weirdest one. Cockatiss. But then that old voice actor from uh, Generations came back for uh, Forces. Wait, was Forces after, um... Wait, are you talking about, do you mean Frontiers or Forces? Because I'm pretty sure Team Frontiers. So yeah, Frontiers. Wait, so then why did Knuckles have a different VA in so Team Sonic Race? Like, what the fuck? Silver had a different voice actor. Man. Quentin Flynn's the is one of the better Silvers, if you ask me. Hmm. Just, I'm biased though. Yeah. I'm I'm biased though because Quentin Flynn voices Raiden from MGS2. <laughs> oh fucking hell! What is this gross ass place? Dude, I like Silver's traditional voice actor in the game. Whoever voices him in a six and the onward is the, he's the, he's good. What about the Sonic of Six Silver voice? That's the guy. Oh, that that's the one you like. I like that one. Harpies. It's no use. It's no use. Like I, 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 the reason I like this that silver so much is because he sounds like hella whiny, but then when he, he gets all serious, he sounds like really like powerful and shit. If that makes I sense. I see a meme. I saw a meme where it's like silver. He goes back in time and talks to Sonic. He's like, Sonic, listen, can you stop fucking up the timeline? <laughs> and he's like, dude, you, you keep letting Eggman go. You let the metal virus spread. 
Sonic, you let Eggman stop Nightmare fucking happen, up the timeline. Which, which means you let Eggman fuck. You let Eggman wait, 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 you let Eggman fuck? Yeah, Eggman Nightmare is descendant from the future. Which means <laughs> you Eggman let fuck. Eggman fuck someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then Sonic's like, yeah, 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 I promise. Silver leaves, Sonic sneezes, and Silver comes back. And he's like, what the fuck did I just say? And then he kicks his ass. <laughs> Bruh. Do I not have a slash skill? Oh, I do not have a slash you skill. You I always found stupid about forces? What, it, that a fact that exists? Yes, but the, in the story, it said that like Sonic's friends can't do shit on their own, but I'm like, what do you mean? Sonic's just a guy with super speed. Dude, some of you have like ninja abilities, can fly, have super strength, have hammers, have telekinesis, and y'all can't do shit. Yeah, Sonic heroes exist. <clears throat> They did pretty well in that game. Years. Yes, they did. I mean, like, look at, I mean, the fact that, um, the flying and power characters and heroes are usually better than the speed characters just goes to show a lot. I never use the speed character when I play heroes. Exactly, bro. I usually use the power character. That just proves my point. Well, hey, maybe, yeah, uh, well, I, I, need, I, need, I need someone, uh, to finish heroes with, so maybe you could play it, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. Then again, your uh, computer might not handle it. Well, here's the thing. There is a PC port of Heroes, which runs natively, so that might be better. I need to get that running yeah. someday, because there's <laughs> apparently a, some really good mods for that. I also find it weird for every other team, like, the leader of each team is a speed character. Like, Sonic's leader of Team Sonic, Shadow's leader of Team Dark, and Amy's leader of Team Rose. And then all the speed characters. Yet Vector is the leader of Team Chaotix, and he's a power character. Oh yeah, I noticed that as a kid as well. Because it, yeah, the speed character is Espio. Yeah, I, for the longest time as a kid, I thought Espio was the leader <laughs> because of that. You <laughs> thought Espio was You're like, let me see. The speed character is always the leader, so Espio has to be the leader. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, nah, SP is not the leader. He's just kind of a shitty ninja. <laughs> He's a shitty ninja. Fuck. Precious hand. Uh, he's like the fire. Well, shit. Guess we're using that Aggie allow gem. <clears throat> Maybe if I'm lucky, I can kill it. Dude, yes. did you know you know Knuckles and you know the Knuckles Chaotix game? Yeah. Knuckles Chaotix, that's a good game. Ooh. Yeah. Fun fact: in in Japan, it's just called the Chaotix because in America we didn't know who the Chaotix were. So to get us like used to the idea, we're like, "Hey man, we'll just call it Knuckles Chaotix. We'll put Knuckles in this game," <laughs> which doesn't even make sense. Do you want to know who the best character in Knuckles Chaotix is? Um, definitely not Knuckles, right? Right, it's not Knuckles. Guess who it is? Uh, is it? Oh yeah, it's Charmy, isn't it? Yeah, Charmy's the best character in the game. I remember now. I'm like, you made a game where Charmy B. Which, oh, I mean, to be fair, it is the first time you see Charmy, and they don't have personalities. They're just kind of people. <laughs> they're people. <laughs> well, yeah, were the Chaotic even established characters at all before Knuckles Chaotic? Well, obviously not. They, didn't, they, they they actually took a massive ass hiatus before Sonic Heroes. But how, what's, the, what's the time gap between Knuckles Chaotix and uh, Heroes? Knuckles Chaotix is like 1995 or something, and Heroes is like 2003, four. I want to say. And here's another thing: people always debate whether like Chaotix is canon because there's a joke made about in Sonic Heroes when at the final fight was like, "We'll support you." Sonic looks at the Chaotix and just gives a thumbs up. And people, fans of it are like, I don't even know you guys, but I assume you're in too, right? <laughs> and it's like, uh, and people, some people are like, dude, they met at the end of Chaos, and they're like, is that game canon then? It's like, I don't know, but damn it. I mean, I mean, Chaos is just weird in general because it has the fucking uh, Chaos Rings. <laughs> it's like one of the weirdest, like, collectibles. And also, it's like, and also, a boss was actually brought back from that game. Uh, which one? 
Metal Overlord. Not Metal Overlord, but, but there's a Metal Sonic boss fight in that game, and they brought it back in Mania Plus. Oh yeah, they did. You want to see? You want? Know, you know what the funny thing is? Hmm. Uh, you might not know this, but I played um I played Sonic Mania on release day. That that Metal Sonic boss was not in the game on release day. I they told you it was the DLC. It was Mania Plus. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, originally you just had a. It, originally, you just kind of had a similar thing to what they did in, uh, what's it called, in our generation, where there's like a wall, there's like a thing chasing you, and you have to hit him after he tires out from attacking. Now I, now I know why that boss was so mid. I, mean, I still think it's a good fight, even without the metal thingy. I, I, I keep calling it Overlord, but that's a thing from Heroes. <laughs> yeah, that's from Heroes. What was it called? Metal Neo Metal Sonic, I think. No, that's the. Uh, oh, that's that's Metal Sonic. That's that's, that's, that's just Metal Sonic in uh, Heroes before he transforms into the big Metal Overlord. Whoops. Um. Mission complete. Oh yeah, Met I think it's called like Metal Sonic Kai or something. All right, let's keep that up. Yeah, that's that's the name. It really felt like we were back in the past. He's going to take you back to the past. Um, All right. Oh, Metal Overlord. It is Metal Overlord? Wait, no, it's Metal... Wait. Um, I thought it was Metal Sonic Kai. Why am I just now remembering Metal Sonic Kai exists? <laughs> Kai is Kai is a Japanese word for revision. It's our bet in this situation. Time to shine. Uh, these guys wait to light. Good choice. Yeah, pick pick the little kid. He'll do all the work. There we go. See, now we're actually kicking enemy ass, so we actually have coverage, finally. Like, Persona kind of sucks before, until you get coverage. Yo, I got bird! This is how we do it. Wait, what the fuck? What? It's called Giga Metal. Giga Metal? That's a stupid name. I like Metal Sonic Kai that's better. What the, that's what the wiki says, it's called Giga Metal. In what game? Mania. Mania, Mania Plus. Oh. So it's something completely different then. What do you guys like to do? Maybe. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess it's a different way you hit it, because I don't, I don't know how you hurt the thing in Chaos, but in Mania, you just kind of hit the little metal casing that hides the Phantom Ruby. Well, look up, uh, look up Metal Sonic Kai then. <laughs> Yeah, I guess just do this then. Slash at him. Yeah, that's the chaotic thing. Okay, so I wasn't crazy about yeah, that. Yeah, but I'm getting videos from Mania too. Weird. So the, the wiki says we dig a metal and metal Sonic Kai are two different things, but the internet just thinks like, oh yeah, they're the same thing. Well, they look identical. Fuck you, bird. How do you live? The operation was a success. What's bird do? He lived. That's not allowed. <laughs> I, 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 Luke was like laughing his ass off this morning at, at some of the dumb shit that I said. Like, um, I said, uh. You say a lot of dumb shit. I, sure, I do. But, like, there was one thing I said where I said, punch the sword, and he just started dying of laughter. <laughs> mm. And I mean, I'm like, what else am I supposed to say? He was, like, Akihiko was punching the sword. <laughs> I always feel like we have a random conversation. Yeah, we got we got we got some good ass conversations. I mean, like, how would you let's compare? How do the conversations between you and Luke go? Um, he does most of the yapping. I just listen. <laughs> how do conversations between you and Zach go? Um, I think in that I think in that case, I do most of the yapping, and then he starts yapping when he goes on about his fucking MKW shit. <laughs> All right.
How do those conversations between you and Aaron go? Um, mostly just Mega Ten and like controversies, I guess. <laughs> mm. And um, how do conversations between you and me go? Uh, we talk about shit like this. We talk about Sonic, Pokemon, sex, for Whatever. some reason. <laughs> See, I'm like the only dude where you have like an actual conversation where it's not just yapping and listening. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm probably exaggerating, but like, I do have some good conversations <laughs> with people. Uh oh. That did a bit. You know something else I always forget about uh, Sonic Mania? What? It's the first game to introduce Fang the Viper. Uh, the, the, you know those three random outcast characters? Fang the Dynamite, Bark the Polar Bear, and uh, the Bird one? Oh, yeah. Characters you know, that were in, the, the characters that were in Sonic the Fighters and never came back. Yeah, the the game that said there were eight Chaos Emeralds. What the fuck? <laughs> well, you forgot that? <laughs> That's so weird. All right, I'm gonna get Mazio. Dude, Sonic Spinball is 16. What the fuck? What the hell's wrong with you, Sonic Spinball? Well, like Sonic Dick Ball. That went well. And then in every uh like Game Gear port of the original games, Everyone's there's only six. Yeah, and Sonic 1. No, but it's Sonic 2 for the game here, Sonic Triple Trouble, Sonic, the other oh. one. And then in 06, they have the weird thing where Silver gives Baby Elise the blue Chaos Emerald. That is very weird. Yeah. Alright, well, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Alright, I'll see you, man. I, ooh, I already have power. You know, the whole party will cover 50% HP. How about that? I'm always happy to team up with everyone. Hey, look at that. We're pretty much fully healed now. Give me something good, man. Give me something good to eat. To Pull the trigger. None of these lads are weak to win, sadly. Yeah, it's a funny thing. Whenever I open up a uh, Parsec, half the time now, I just see like Zeppi on Jose's PC. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Bruh. Bruh, no way you dodge. They, they've been, uh, they've been on a roll with those, um, with those mods recently, man. I tell you what. See, you know, that's the thing. I didn't have anybody to test mods with when I was making Smash mods. I mean, I kind of did, but I didn't have someone who's just like right there to test shit with all every day, you know. And like, I just got like so sick of Smash. Anyways, I, I've said this a million times <laughs> probably by now. Lamia, haven't had Lamia before. Arrowhead of Desire. How many fragments do I have? Wait, I got nine. That's plenty. The funny fists? The fists of justice? Heroes knickers? Careful careful how you say that word, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm guessing it's only for boys. I mean, then again, I do say, like, nick a lot. You know, like, ah, he nicked me good. Well, I guess you could say like stickers, you know. Oh, there's a treasure chest. So instead of Snickers, you drop you drop the S. Oh, I'm shooting you. The tables. Shoot the table. They resist. Okay, what about um Zionga? Resist? Why does blood resist everything? Fog. Dink. Uh, Bufala? 
Also, why did why did uh Metis learn Garula? Inflict it with poison. Sound out faster. Mufu? Oh yeah, <laughs> I realized that um. Oh, here we go. I realized um. I guess it's VA had to record all the persona names. <laughs> uh, I'll heal up your Kari after the battle. It's fine. That's a weakness. Die. No, don't get up. You dick. Man. Here, I'll win them up. It's not really worth it to heal poison most of the time. Yeah, stay down, bitch. Uh, looks like I only have Magaru, so I'll just use it. Boom. And... Yadagarasu? Usually that just gives them like a free level up, you know? Tsukukaja! Oh yeah, Yukari is not doing good. Let's, let's actually get Yukari to use some of her uh, SP, because she doesn't use much of it. Ooh, a power incense. I'm pretty sure that's just like... You just put that on. Um, I'll put it on, uh, Metis. Yeah, why not? It's better to- in my opinion, it's better to use the incenses on your party members because they're never gonna lose their personas. So you don't have to worry about it. Also, where the hell is the exit? I'm stupid. The elegant mother. They block wind. Eha. Wait to light then. Aha. Man, I'm so big brain at this. Uh, how's my internet doing? Still good? Good. I'm glad, uh... I'm glad Lotus Juice came back to sing FES, the FES version of Mass Destruction. That is really nice. Um... Yeah, more XP. It's good. Mahama. Everyone. Yeah, maybe I could just get experience for each of my personas until they get their all their skills, you know? I don't have more shit to pass down, if that makes sense. Oh my god, where do I go? System. This dungeon music is oddly calming. You know, I was, I was talking to Dominic, like, before Reload came out, and I was like, dude, imagine if they made a better version of, uh, Disturbing the Peace. And, um, and then he literally told me, like, uh, bro, there's already, um, <laughs> there's already a thing for that. Do I even have a light? Oh, yeah, I have light. Yeah, there was some reason the song is called Don't. I don't know why. Don't what? Don't suck dick? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just use Koga. By the way, ever since I got sick, I've been drinking a lot of water recently. 
Like, I don't mind water as much anymore. It's kind of interesting. Maybe that's a sign I'm maturing or something. Hmm. Dodge fire. That could be nice. <laughs> it's all over. Might be Come situational, on, but still might be nice. Should we go back just to be safe? Um. I honestly don't think I need to say. Or actually, I got an idea. Will you find the exit and then I'll use the teleporter? Come on, let's keep moving. Uh, nothing in here. I guess it couldn't hurt to save. Um. Wait, since you can save literally anywhere now. Yes, I am gonna do that thing where I keep, uh, where I keep, like, save scumming and making, like, a shit ton of save slots. Yeah, so we can just go to the next floor, because we already explored this. Oh, there's a treasure chest! But yeah, I mean, well, here's the thing, right? When I played, uh, when I played FPS for the first time... I hated, uh, I hated the Tartarus gameplay a lot. But when I played Portable, I got, like, really into it. So I was like, man, how, how did I hate this? This shit's great. We'll find something good in there. Let's open it up. Like, the Tartarus gameplay, I swear, the more I played Tartarus, the more fun it gets. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, there's just some really addicting quality to it. It's probably, like, what got me into roguelikes, honestly. We have the upper hand, so Ooh. Yeah, I, I got really into roguelikes, I think, because of Tartarus, and that's why I like a lot of roguelikes. Bro, bro, how could you miss? I wanted Igus to do it because he has the most physical attack right now. Disturbing the peace. Take a shit. I mean, generally, if you kill all the enemies you see, you're not going to be on their level for the boss. Um, honestly, I'm going to just have you guard. <laughs> what? Hey. That is a really funny reaction. Oh yeah, we also have this thing now, which is not bad. I mean, it, it's only weak to physical. Which, debatably, could be... Actually, no, you, you can't count the opposite. You want to be immune to physicals. Oh, and they heal from that? Well, shit. I didn't know they would heal from that. That's pretty annoying. At least they can't get up. Oh no, the status is back. I don't know why that's not faster. Like, isn't it faster in Persona 5? Why couldn't they do the same for this? Look, a treasure chest. You guys haven't seen one of those before, have you? Um, what do I want? I'll win, yeah. <laughs> Once again, Metis has barely used any SP. I do have- I think I have the other, uh, DLC outfits, do I? Uh, obtain the Emperor... Your first physical attack will do damage. Patra. I guess I could get that.
Nice. I gotta sell all that stuff later. But at least we have a place to sell it at now, though. Also, I think I can go to the antique shop at some point. I'll go there eventually. Maybe once I get to another save point or something. Pew pew. Ken's gonna run out of SP, bro. I need to give him a snuff soul or something. I love when I, I love when I say like right. I kind of I I started to sound like Great Andre, which is pretty hilarious. Yay! Everybody leveled up at a good time. Oh wait, right. Uh, SP doesn't refill once you level up. Investigate the area. I have a few snuff souls, right? Oh, I have soul drops. Oh, yeah, we don't have snuff souls yet. We only have soul drops. So I'll try and hold out a bit longer then. Oh, not even what I meant to do, but okay. Why don't I get crits half the time? She's, she's, she's been able to use her theory for a while. Should I even use it? Sure, I'll use it. She'll probably get another one by the time I get to the boss anyway, right? Uh, sure. Oh, they're all weak to light, damn. So according to Nyarly, I don't know how true this is, this is, but apparently, your all-out attack damage is based on the weapon you have. Which, uh, if that's true, that's kind of interesting. What does Sylphid Aura do again? I forgot, actually. How do I check that again? Uh, oh yeah, raises defense and accuracy in the next battle. So I can just, you can just use that before any boss in this game. That's right. Revival beads are always nice. Oh shit. Wait. Monad doors? What the fuck? Starting from left and going right, the shadows get stronger. Whoa. Sometimes monad doors will appear in the abyss of time. Defeating a special enemy will trigger a special shuffle time where major arcana cards appear more frequently. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's worth a try, right? Let's just try the middle one. I, I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting three different Monad doors. That's crazy. Well, now we have an excuse to use uh, Fuka's SP. Yes. Just watch. Battle. Battle time. All right. Engaging the enemy. Phantom Mage. Um, I guess we can start off with his light attack. If he's weak to that, that's gonna do some good damage. Eh, it did something. Well, he's he's a light user, actually. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, bro. Oh, 
That's BS. Um, yeah, let's use Justice, why not? Especially because this is in crit. Cool attack. Sure. It's not bad. Koga. Yeah, I, I can deal with that. I'm loving it. Boo -dee. Someone needs to make a McDonald's remix of Mass Destruction now. Hey man, at least this guy's uh... It's not gonna be that tough. He's weak to wind? Why wind, bro? That's a weird one. Won't he be weak to dark or something? Wouldn't that make more sense? I love how Menace is like freaking butterfly wings. Just like, stand out. Like hella a lot. You can't get up. I can't get up. Ooh, damn. Damn, that was good. Alright, here's the reinforcements. So this is just dead ass a boss fight at this point. Let's try arrow rain, maybe get a lucky crit, who knows? Or not. You're gonna be a douche and buff people? Oh, they're weak to wind, actually. They're both weak to wind, okay. Elegant Mother. What's the Elegant Mother weak to? I don't know. I'm going to use... Uh, Makoha? That is not it. Poison Mist? Ooh. Wow. That's shitty. Rakunda. Well, that's pretty bad. Do I have something that cures... Poison? I don't think I do. I could just Magaru again. And then just pass it off to someone else. Actually, I can't. I can't pass it off. Um. Oh, cure poison for all allies. Perfect. That's just what, just what I needed. Does this thing have a weakness? Oh, it's weak to fire. Well, I ran out of fire gems, so rip. At least one guy's gone. Rakukaja. Hey, doesn't um. Oh yeah, can't, can't shift during Orgia mode. That did fuck all, actually. Salt dive? Yeah, because why not? Um. Well, first of all, waste of all, we got an Aggie loud. All right, now we might mob my Sudi Jim again. Oh, his Theergy's back. I gotta say this is going decently. Did 
Dizzy can't get up. Nice. Perfect. I thought I told you to sit fucking back down. Alright, let's do Swift Strike. Boom. boom. Oh, Cruel Attack's gonna do a lot. Oh, yeah. Alright, you, you don't like wind. Well, at least our attack is down. Demonic Decree. What the fuck is the Demonic Decree? I don't know, but it did a lot of damage. Um, Buffalo, why not? Actually, no, do a uh, Assault Dive. Kind of hoping for that crit, honestly. Oh, where's my crit game? I have to do this. Where is it? Mega. Mega! Oh, fuck. I didn't realize she was uh, weak to that. What's the turn order right now? It goes uh, Menace and then I guess. We'll be okay. I think we can- I think we can- Oh. Yeah, I don't have enough health. I can kill this thing. We can kill it with an all-out attack. There we go. Beautiful. I can get- I need more experience. And, ooh, Vacuum Slash on anybody? Gladly. Mission complete. I forget you get to pick one more card after. Oh, hello. All right. So, what do we see we get for that? Ah, look at all this treasure, dude. Horso of Sorrow. Ooh. Give to Metis. Cannon of Sorrow. Oh, okay. I'm glad I didn't buy it. Wait, hang on. Here's the thing. Is it better than what I have? It's better by seven. Man, so I wasted my money on this rifle then. Well, I guess we can sell the other one. Hide of Sorrow. Give to Metis. Well, hang on. Can I wear it? Oh, wait. Only Metis can wear it. Wait, so this is like a specific thing. This is a specific... What is that icon, even? Well, it does give her plus 20 SP. Contains the essence of fallen tears. So I guess and Metis have two different icons. That's weird. Alright, I mean, sure. <laughs> I still need a better armor, though. Nile Cloth. Megido Gem. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, so the other doors do disappear, then. Alright. Oh, wait. Um. Not auto recover. I, I meant. I was meant to go through the door. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Do the other doors go away? Yeah, they do. So you, you can only go in one of the three doors. So, I mean, ideally, later on, I should probably go through the one with the highest difficulty, then. Oh, 
Oh my god, I almost got fucking screwed over by the game. Tranquil doll. Resist thunder. What are you weak to? Ice? Oh, you're weak to wind. Okay. Man, how, there's so many versions of Mass Destruction now, it's not even funny. Yeah, Maragi. Uh, I can get Jikoku then. So that's gonna fill out my Compendia a bunch, isn't it? Oh yeah, I definitely want to go back to the entrance. So you get like a teleport every two floors. So you get like a save every two floors. That's pretty. That's not pretty. That's pretty nice, honestly. Actually, I have a question. Also, we got some requests we can get return in. Marvelous. Dang, five fragments. Crazy. So we got thirty treasures, some snuff souls. That's nice. Beads. Moon Tarot. Oh, she gives us the cards. All current party members will have their HP and SP fully restored. Ooh, that's really fucking nice. Alright, well, are there any of these that I can do? I gotta give her a muscle drink. <sighs> have a Sarasvati with Agilau. I'll have to get an Agilau card then. Also, if you leave midway, do you have to redo the whole dungeon? I, I imagine probably so. Um. You, you probably want to do all this in one go anyway. Then again, I have no SP left, so we'll see. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Metis is the only one with SP right now. Wrong. Wrong. We got treasures. I feel a little better now that Junbei Oh yeah, I forgot to let them join us. Got a lot of enemies on this floor now. Um, we better watch our step. Oh, there's a gold hand. Look, sister, a rare one. That spread shot is really nice. Boom. Aw, oh, crap! Bro, we keep missing, dude. There we go. Oh, still, still kicking. He's waiting. Huh? Huh? Juan, why aren't you hitting it? He just, he just dodges everything. I wonder if we're gonna come across the big hands that were from uh, the journey or what. Uh, experience. Definitely always go for experience with the hands. Yeah, since we can get experience like that, like, damn, bro. I think I'm Yay, we got Garula, finally, a good wind skill. All right, let's keep that up. Oh, this is just so frustrating. Combat never felt this hard before. <laughs> Uh, yep. The upper hand, the upper hand. I might have to actually swap out my party members when I get back to the entrance. Just can't even have enough SP to do this shit. That's the problem. 
Like, I have just enough SP with I, I guess. In that case, I'll probably switch out, um, Yukari and Ken for Kormaro and Junpei then, since they're able to, um, you know, they're able to do stuff, because they actually have SP. Can I? Is there a way I can go? I can just go straight to the next floor. Sister, an enemy. Hold on, let me. Uh, I guess I'll kill this guy too. Be I think I like to win. And this thing's weak to light, which I don't really have anything left for. I wish there was a way to skip Theurgies. It's too bad you can't do that. Oh, damn. Dizzy, bro. I've always found it really annoying how if you, like, knock a few enemies down and then decide to, like, um... Well, he's feared now. <laughs> Bro's probably gonna run away. Like, if you knock some enemies down and then you kill another enemy, you still don't get the all-out attack. Which is kind of annoying. I can't tell if it's an oversight or if it's just like a weird mechanic of the game. <laughs> if it were me, I probably uh, would have run a, th or a script or something that says like, Hey, uh, if... If all the enemies are knocked down, if this enemy is dead, you know, run the all-out attack thing. Increase his power of, a tar of attacks a target one foe by 15%. That is a very obscure skill. Well. Hmm. I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna loot this. Mooney! Uh, I kind of want those chests, though, so I'm going to go back for them. I kind of want to head back to the entrance, not going to lie. Wanna check that chest? There might be a teleporter on floor 8, so maybe we can do it then. I mean, alternatively, we can go heal. And then we can just, like, redo the floors that we've already done if we really have to. Which, I don't know if I've ever done that before in a Persona game. A treasure chest. Maybe. Go. Go. What's that? It just went down a floor. I know I've sensed it before. So that's the boss, right? And then this is a teleporter? Yeah. I hope we don't end up running into anything too dangerous. Oh. Yeah, we, so we're gonna we're gonna switch um party members for the boss then. Where's Ken at? Okay, dot dot dot. Alright, let's bring Junpei. <laughs> Leave it to old Junpei. And doggy. Alright, are they any... Are they any good? Oh yeah, so we can still use Yukari to heal as well. Uh, Junpei is level 31. Koromaru is 31 as well. So they got a little bit of catching up. So does Akihiko. I'll bring them with me eventually. I'm, I'm keeping, uh... I'm keeping medicine for a very good reason, though since she's going to be useful against the, uh, a much later fight. So I think probably the goal of this episode would be to get to the bottom of Kokaitis. I got one. Hey, Metis. Stop me if you've heard this one. Even if I hadn't, I wouldn't care to. Oh, come on! 
kind of fun. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. All right. There, a shadow. Wait, and over there. There goes Dorkun. It disappeared again. I'll oh, never mind that. Just focus on the enemy, and here it comes. Oh, there's gonna be a weird boss, bro. Oh shit, I should have done the, uh... I should have done the, um... The Sulfid Aura. Especially since these guys are also gonna be buffing. Concentrate? Oh my, oh my goodness. Should I just guard? Or should I try and, like... High chance of charm? Hmm... You know what? Not for shits and giggles. Oh, if it missed, that means it can hit. Well, don't go attack the doggy. Ooh, shit. Um, Junpei's got vacuum slash. Wow, how the hell did you miss those guys? Uh, let's do justice. That's one of, my, one of my favorite skills so far. So you guys can, you can crit? Yo! Alright, um... Yeah, I guess you can, um... Wait, do I not have gems that cure statuses? Oh, I don't. I need to switch to something that can. Um, Patra? No. What the fuck here is poison? I don't think I have anything that cures poison, actually. Alright, well, arrow rain then it is. Um, you can do Swift Strike. Dang, no crit again. Oh, I resist that, dumbass. Alright, Bufala. But I resist that. Actually, no, I don't. Alright, um... Yeah, I could just use a bead. When else am I gonna use these? Alright, the table's back up. The table's gonna keep trying to poison me. Poison. Which is really annoying. Alright, do you have any weaknesses? You're weak to ice. Okay. I can't do multiple analysis in one turn, though. I'm just gonna keep going for that and see if I can crit them. Yes! Thank you. This is good. I want. I, I needed this, honestly. Oh hell yeah! All stats up. I don't have anything that that, that does statuses. Um. Oh yeah, actually, Buffalo is generally perfect because I guess has no SP right now. Perfect. And yeah, she's out of SP, so. Guess we're gonna arrow rain then. Dang, no crit still? We're gonna have to find out the, the weaknesses of these guys. I mean, if we do Mamudo, we can uh, figure it out. We can figure out if they have dark weaknesses or anything. Well, not if it misses. Oh, oh fuck! Hmm. Oh, I should heal. Bro got up immediately. 
Yeah, this poison, this poison's getting really annoying. Uh, let's use the good old Amugi water. Uh, let's try Swiss Strike instead. Fuck. Man, this guy is dodging a lot. Alright, what about Ega? Oh, okay, so no, we, we found out already. Right, they're immune. They're not- they don't have any susceptibility to darkness. Um... Yeah, just Swiss Strike. Oh, crit, crit, crit! Let's go! Just what I wanted to see. Goromar is tanking it for the team, you know? Alright. Let's use another... Let's use that other bead that I have. <laughs> We're just taking this poison like it's nothing. Oh, you're gonna Suku Kaja again. Oh! Um, Darla, maybe? We gotta find out their weaknesses somehow. Resist. Jesus, this is getting annoying. Well, <laughs> that doesn't work, obviously. Ooh, shit, did I just hit weakness? Yes. There he is, the Buffalo gem. That poison's getting really annoying. Here, let's heal again. Um, I'm just gonna use this turn to heal up uh, Junpei. What is your weakness then, sir? It's probably like lightning or something. Well, I haven't hit him with wind yet, so let's try wind. No, he resists wind. Oh, and there's Magaru again. Oh shit, Jinpei's weak to wind. Oh boy. What is Bro doing? Alright. Oh yeah, knock knock this dude over again. Wait, no, that's not what he's weak to. He's not weak to wind. Shit, I did, I did a bad. Is Jinpei dead, bro? Oh, he, 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 he... He's still cooking. He, he can tank that poison. Alright, let's use that last Bufula gem that we have. Well, if Jinpei dies, it's not a big deal. Alright. <laughs> Do I have, like, just normal Zeo? Dodge Alec. You know what? He probably is weak to electricity then. But I can't tell what he's actually weak to. Ooh, inflicted with fear. That's good. Mataro Kaja. Ooh, yikes. Okay. I blocked that, bro. Yeah, this poison just never wears off, does it? Alright, so... I'm just gonna do a salt dive, honestly. This thing- this guy's almost dead anyway. Let's <laughs> see. 
Is Junpei really gonna live with one HP? Oh my god, really? He dodged? Man, that's getting really obnoxious. Okay, let's do, um... Yeah, do Arrow Rain. Bro, really? I might use another Mugi water, actually. We're kind of not doing too good. Oh, your stat- you already recovered your status? Damn. Okay, their, their cycle is resetting, it looks like. We need to kill them fast, then. We can't really go for all out attacks because everybody is, um. Everybody, like, is status. Alright, um. Do torrent shot. I need this to kill. Yes! Okay. If I can get, like, a lucky crit or something, that'd be nice. Well, this guy's gonna dodge a lot. Oh yeah, he's resistant to that shit. Now, we winning this. We can tank this. This fight's gonna suck, but we can tank it. Oh yeah, he would've... He wouldn't have lived that anyways. We have, we have, a uh, We have revival beads for a reason. Now we're not poisoned anymore, though, so it's okay. Uh, let's do Assault Dive. Oh yeah, don't do that. You gotta use Slash moves, bro. It's like with Fear, nice. Uh, use a Life Stone. Yeah, use a Life Stone and Menace, I guess. Doesn't heal very much, though. He's paralyzed with fear. Okay, good. Alright, we need to use Fatal End then right now. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, he missed. Stop! Oh, wait, um... I guess has her her theurgy now. Ooh, that's not good. Paralyzed with fear though, so that's good. Okay, at least Coromara's not poison anymore though. Alright, Junpei, come on. Please. No, oh, Jinpei, you, you should you, you gotta get, get a crit, man. How is this thing still not dead? Garula again. Menace can't really do much right now. Just keep going for... Just keep slashing at it. It'll die eventually. Oh, there we go. Jeez. Well, we, that we struggled with that one, but we didn't get a game over, so that's all that matters. Custom parts? Ooh, that's a lot of levels, man. Survive light. Hell yeah. And resist strike. Good. Some good some good stuff. Aggie Lao. Bragion, nice. <laughs> Cut.
Karachan was in top form for that fight. Maybe he's giving it all because he just met up with everyone. Excuse me. Sure seems like it. He's full of pride. And I can sense he has some affection for you, sister. Huh. Sister. Tell me, sister, which one of us is more helpful to you? And be honest, please. Um... Hmm. I'm a, I'm a scent for menace. <laughs> yes! <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> oh, don't give me that look. It's like you're saying, fine, you can have this win. You're a dog. Uh -huh. Seems like everyone's going pretty well. I hope we can keep up the momentum as we make progress. Hi. Ooh, okay. Um... Yeah, we definitely need to heal. <laughs> Thing is, none of the none of these party members have healing, so we can just use some of those life stones. And uh, let me use some mad bulls on I guess, and uh, some of my soul drops too. We'll have at least a little bit of SP. Okay, so remember, we can actually go. Oh my god, that's a lot of chests. Man, they're just showering us in chests. Best Bouts DVD. Oh, isn't that like lore? That's like lore stuff, isn't it? Slugger Jacket. That's for Jinpei, obviously. All right. I mean, who else would that be for? Oh, there's the Meteor Knuckles. We need to give those to Elizabeth. I might give those right now, actually. I don't know. Martial Arts 101. And whatever that is. You don't have to show me how it's done. I already know how to fight. What? <laughs> well, yes, but still. Huh. I can't go back. I wonder what there are. Return to Desert of the Doors. Oh right, yeah, you can leave this way. Actually, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you can actually just go heal. Because that's like the halfway point. Hey, I found the meteor knuckles. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the Maypatra. Hmm. Not bad. Bring flash grenade. Okay. We'll work on that then. Very well. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna take a little BRB, but uh yeah, I'll be back with more PR. PR? P3R in a bit. Alright, well. Uh, sorry if you guys hear any noise from outside. I decided to crack my window open a bit because I kind of want some cold air in here. And, you know, it's getting to that time of year where I can have my window open and it'll actually be, like, decently cold, which is great. So, no more annoying hot streams for a little while. Uh, at least for the next week, it seems like. It's going to be, like, flat 20s. So, that's good. Anyways, um, Aaron sent this really funny meme in stream chat. Let me pull it up real quick. He, um... He, he sent this fucking meme. It says, DDD? <laughs> oh. Hold on, it's not even showing. What the fuck? Why chat room no... Why chat room no work? Oh. Here. DDD? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Why the hell is why the hell is Discord below the the screen share? That's stupid. Why why did I do that? I don't know. That's kind of kind of janky. Oh, here's another lot. Here's another screenshot that was just sent me right now. We have a sauce line from Yukari. <laughs> When you drink sake, do you swallow the cup or do you swallow the liquid inside? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tell him that's sus as hell. Which, I'll switch to who is that. <laughs> Bro, see, I told you Zep, he's on his computer again. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Bro's on there like every day now. It's an addiction. Look at that, look at that filter. Honestly, I'm gonna stick with this party because we didn't get to use them that much. But anyways, let's go back to, uh... Okaitis. 
And the only reason I know it's called Kokaitis is because, um, you know, that's how Ram says it in Neptunia. And that's probably how I'm going to call it for the rest of the time. So how is it going to look once we get deeper into the floors? Another victory? See. I think Junpei just made a freaking pun. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this floor. That's kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Like, every time you beat a boss, the layout, like, completely changes. Man. I thought we were getting somewhere, but... We're probably... Also, I see a monad door. One of those hands. Alright, are you guys weak to Ega? No. Ufula? It's just an element guessing game. Oh, of course, so weak to fire. Not gonna lie, I do still really hope that in Persona 6, they bring back, um, like, they bring back multiple demon types. Like, you can have the traditional SMT demons, like in Persona 5, but then they also have the weird, freaky-ass enemies, like in Persona 3. Like, I would love to see, like, a mix of both. Because I think that'd be super cool. Uh, Moragion? No. Oh, we, we've seen these ads already, they're weak to win. Well, at least we know they're not weak to, um, fire. <laughs> That's something, right? By the way, I've been watching a lot of those, um, how to grow your, like, small channel type videos recently. Because, uh, I do want to give myself a chance to, um, try and grow a little bit further. And I'm thinking from now on, I'm gonna start uploading all my videos at the same time. Because, um, I know Vine Sauce does that, and it's worked out pretty well for them. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of want to start doing that because it's getting kind of confusing when I'm like, oh, hey, this video is supposed to go up at 3 p.m. This video goes up at 6 p.m. This video goes up at 12 p.m. You know, I, I kind of got sick of doing that. So I'm just deciding, like, from now on, I'm going to um, start uploading everything at 12 p.m. my time. Because... It's gonna get confusing for me otherwise. And plus, according to my analytics, uh, 12 p.m. is just when most people are online anyways. Like, most- generally, most people are on- on YouTube from, like, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That seems to be when most of them are online. So, because of that, I might just upload everything at 12, and people can watch whatever the fuck they want, I don't give a shit. Um, switch to Metis. Metis is so weird. Like, why does she have Garula and Bufula and then, like, some physical moves? <laughs> like, it makes no sense, but I kind of like it in a weird way. Oh, God damn it! the hands didn't die. I don't know what Distress does again, though. Boom. There we go. The doggy did it. Alright, um... Ooh, get Orthrus. I only got too much experience, because Junpei's not here right now. Yo! Heavy strike damage to all foes! That's amazing! Oh man, I forgot. Metis gets really freaking good later. She gets charged too. No one can stop Holy me shit. 
Yeah, that is really freaking good. That. Yo, I found a pad, and I got some cool stuff. Could it be? The greedy shadow. Oh yeah, dude, I was just talking about this thing earlier. Are we gonna have a tutorial on this thing too? <laughs> <laughs> Let's chase it. Oh no, there is no tutorial. See, we don't need a tutorial. Uh, gonna make a left. Well, actually, I'm gonna make a right. So I'm pretty sure this is like luck based or something. Because I- I've lost it before. Make a right again. Well, every every now and then I do fuck this up. Whoop! Uh, I'm gonna just keep- I'm gonna just keep going right. <laughs> Whoop! There we go. These things can't run away, as far as I know. Dignify checkmate. Joker we proud. Oh shit, I hit the jackpot! I'm like, uh, I'm like Dante, dude. I hit the jackpot sooner or later. This thing's gonna take a long time to die, though. Um, Bufala, because why not? Oh yeah, I love how these enemies have like an insane damage modifier on them for no fucking reason. Aggie dying, oof. That did fuck all, what the hell? Why did that not do anything? Yeah, I think I think these enemies have like a ten times damage multiplier on them, which makes them seem like they have more health than they actually do. But in reality, it's just you know, uh, funny. Yeah. Boom. Just keeps smacking at it. Oh, it's weak to slash. What? Why is it weak to slash? The hell? That's really freaking weird. Good level ups there. Yo, Junpei learned Aggie. Well, let's go. I mean, Junpei's magic isn't good, anyways. It's just kind of here. Ooh, that I gotta put check out that stuff. Nice. There's no way it could have escaped from me, Junpei, the Lord of Speed. Yeah, it was a lucky find, indeed. Oh, why, why are you lying? I mean, all I really missed are enemies, but I got a lot of experience from that anyway, so I might not need to. Um... Right. So we have the Pummel Brooch. Reduce Strike Damage. Or reduce Pierce Damage. Um... I could give one of these to Koromaru, maybe. Reduce pierce, reduce uh, strike. Yeah, why not? And menace can have the uh, stab brute. Because why not? Got really good evasion now, though. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, I really like this area. It's pretty nice looking. Oh, these guys are definitely weak to, like, lightning and shit. Uh, Garua. Yep. <laughs> Okay, it kind of makes me want to go back to, uh, I think I mentioned this, I kind of want to go back to the answer on FPS now, and see just how, like, drastically different it is. 
Because this is like probably a hella reimagining. The only thing I know about the um, the answer normally is um, like the final boss. Uh, mo well, actually, most of the final bosses. Um, and also like the music, obviously. And that's about it. Like, I don't know anything about the dungeons. I haven't seen the dungeons or the bosses. So, yeah. What in, the go what in God's name are you guys weak to? S strike again? I keep calling it punch. It's not, it's not strike, it's punch. Or it's not punch, it's strike. Yeah. But I keep calling it punch for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it's funny, though. Bruh. At least Metis can knock it down. Yeah, I, I do think one door per episode is good. Mamiya leveled up. Very nice. Diorama. Oh, they're both, uh... The same arcana. I got Diorama, hell yeah. Wait a minute, Hermit. Wait, why wait why why well Yadagrasu is my in my party, that's why. I was like, wait, why did Yadagrasu level up? You're not a hermit. Ooh, we got a tough guy. Let me let me oh Okay, I need to recover her SP. There, let's recover Fuka's SP then, so we can use Sylphidora. Yep, and then, uh... Yeah, we can use some life stones, why not? We have them, I mean, might as well. What in the shit? Get a crit? <laughs> Aw, yeah, we got a crit, let's go. Oh yeah, to feel severe dark damage to one foe. I mean, I could do that. I, mean, I probably should have done that. Ooh, they have Aggie dying. That's rough. Heavy strike damage to old foes, why not? Maybe she'll get a crit, too. Who knows? I don't know if this can crit. Maybe. Oh, shit. And she did her Culean strike. Oh my god. Damn, man, just chill out. I don't want the experience increase. Those guys get gotta give a lot of XP. XP, yeah. 10k. And I got Null Freeze. That could be a good skill to pass on. Oh man, you did everything. Metis literally carried that fight. Oops. I keep forgetting the auto recover feature exists. I was just I'm so used to healing manually. Hey, let's loot that. I, I think I think generally SP wise it is better to just do it manually anyway though. Like you don't want to use the auto recover because it takes a lot of SP out of you. Uh, I need to head straight. I don't know how many floors there are, but we gotta be getting close. A little farther down. Okay, we're getting- we're getting there. All these frickin' things. <laughs> Did I get a crit? Again? No, they're just weak to slash. You did, Korobaru. Oof. Nice. Mabuvu. Punch him. He can't get up. Boom. 
Nice. Nice physicals there. Good job, now let's get back to exploring. Ah. It's a lot harder to get a first strike. Yo, Hulk Hogan is back, brother. Hulk Hogan back, brother. He's gonna kick some ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Now, if I had to guess, probably weak to lightning. Because they're usually weak to lightning. Damn, they're still living. Oh yeah, brother. Oh yeah, let's do Herculean Strike, because why not? What? Dodged. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna snipe him. Don't dodge, come on, man. Stop. There we go. Bro, I dodged like two times. Iron lined pants. Dude, I just stole his pants. I stole his trousers. His trousers are mine. Did I find the exit yet? Oh, no, not quite. Uh, let's use some more of those life stones. Yeah, I mean, we have that stuff for a reason, after all. It's so inconsistent to get the frickin' first strike. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, they're not- they're not weak to strike. Wait, so what's that book weak to? What are you weak to? Oh, you're weak to win. Menace can carry this fight again. Damn it, he lived again. <laughs> Ow. Get out of here, bitch. I mean, I'm glad I'm still getting my shuffle time as much as I am. Alright, that's two level ups. Poison Mist. And Null Distress. Eh. That is extremely situational, but sure, I guess. Might make it better fusion fodder in the future. Poison arrow. That's, uh... Isn't that like a light piercing skill? Uh, yeah. Always it pierce damage to one fall. Also, when do I get all these damn skills, bro? Do I have any of the... Are any of the personas weak to fire? I guess you're weak to fire. Yeah, not sure. Dodge fire. Uh, Maypatra. Does anybody have Maypatra? I guess I'll just put it on you. Yeah, I thought I have Maypatra. I have normal Patra. Sure. Uh, Medea Vacuum Slash. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Auto Rock Akaja. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'll get rid of Null Confuse. There we go. Mazio, I don't know who to put on. I guess power for now. I mean, if I can pass it down, it doesn't matter, right? Plus, Mazio's not gonna matter late game anyways. So we might as well. That's a strong guy. I mean, the strong guys weren't really that bad, so I could probably tank it.
All right, um, Mamudo. Wait, actually, yeah. Actually, I haven't done Miragi on. They block fire. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. They did Augie dine. Oh, they wait to ice them. Nope. That game slash. Come on, Junpei, you got this. Junpei, come on, man. Um. You know what? I mean, we could try. We could try Mazio. Maybe they don't have any weaknesses. I don't know. Alright, well, now we're gonna be taking a lot of. Well, not really. Oh, they have all kinds of spells. Well, if they don't target I guess this is bad. Yeah, I know I'm damaged. Okay, that's really bad. Uh, use the antibiotic gel on her, please. Uh, we haven't tried wind yet. These guys might not have a weakness, deadass. Either that or they're weak to light or something. Possible. Oh boy, here we go again. Here we go again. Um... Yeah, you know what? Try it. Nope. Nah, they're not weak to that either. Oh shit, that's pretty bad. No! <laughs> when the fuck did I save last? Man, I got cheesed by BS again. Uh, I don't think I lost that much. I got cheesed by BS yet again, bro. Um... We just have to redo those floors. I was like so close to the end though. Oh. Okay, at least we know they're not weak to anything though, I guess. <sighs> That's annoying. Another victory? See I'm gonna do all this shit again, man. Well, it won't be as hard the second time, because I know their weaknesses now, I guess. I'm, like, still barely sick, but I, I'm hoping by tomorrow my sniffles will be gone. That'll be pretty nice. Queen Meb? Woof, woof, woof. Alright, well, kind of tempting to skip half these enemies, bro. So annoying that you can't speak, you can't like fast forward through battles, though. That is so weird, because I do remember that being a feature in P5. Even though it wasn't very good, I remember it being at least faster than this. Uh, sure, I'll go with Lamia again. I mean, you don't really get a lot of good skills early game anyway. Um, perhaps. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Koro Maru this time. Man, I thought we were getting somewhere. I thought we were getting somewhere. Daft Jacket. Wait, did Junpei already get another armor upgrade? That's crazy. Uh, yep, go to the next floor. Next floor mean, meaning going downwards. Could it be? Oh yeah, we gotta do this again. Yes. 
I'll do this again. I just go right every time while I do it. <laughs> Hooray! I didn't actually run into it this time. <laughs> wow. Another reason why I'm pissed that I uh, lost my progress. Well, rip that. I'm trying to speed run through this shit because I, I don't care. I'm just trying to get to the end. Is there going to be a light and dark scale or something later on? <laughs> How funny would that be? Oh yeah, by the way, in uh, Paper Mario, I was, o I was able to make a custom attack for the Clubbas. And, uh, it actually looks really freaking cool. Like, he slams his mace down, and he makes, like, a, a shockwave. Which is really cool. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should do, like, more custom, uh, attacks. For, li like, enemies. Well, maybe not, like, um... Maybe not, like, one-time enemies. Uh, no. Not after what happened last time, bro. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not fighting those fuckers again after what happened last time. Hey, let's loot that chest. Ergotite shard. I made it to B13 last time. Um, um. So, yeah. Oh, there, there go. It's that, it's that time of the night where the fucking planes start showing up. I love it. I wonder how come nobody has problems with that. I think maybe people just have like exceptionally good AC or something. Nice, we got we got him down again. Oh yeah, I realize we haven't seen Junpei's thing yet. We haven't seen his uh splash screen. Well, at least I haven't seen it very much. Yes, please learn that again. <laughs> I'm doing better than ever. Charge is just a really, really solid move. Time since we saw that unknown figure. Yeah, that unknown figure. Which also means we're gonna fight Old Hogan again, yeah, brother. I imagine uh, repeat playthroughs of this game will be fun because, like, you already know the weaknesses, so you can make quick work of everything. Oh! You hear that noise he made when he fell over? He was like, oh! Unfortunately, they don't die in one turn. Yeah, just do the same thing again. Hulk Hogan is in my way, bro. Oh, yeah, I gotta get Legion again, apparently. Treasure. I don't think I got this one last time. Got yeah, slash. Ooh, slash boost. I wonder who that should go on. Don't know yet. I haven't figured it out.
Not enough YouTubers I watch actually play Persona games. <laughs> That's always really satisfying. I mean, now that I'm at it, the only YouTuber I know that plays Persona is Nico B, and I guess uh, also Gnarly. I think those are the only two, like. Well, I guess Fither, but Fither hasn't uploaded in a long ass time. I wonder what happened to that guy. You know what? Let me, let me check on his channel, actually. How's he doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah. He hasn't uploaded in, like, what, a year? Yeah, he hasn't uploaded in an entire year, dude. Apparently, he has a manga channel? Does he actually upload to that now, or what? <laughs> manga Club? No, I don't think so. Yeah, Feather's just dead, bro. Weird, okay. Yeah, so that's it. I used to watch him all the time, and now he just doesn't upload. <laughs> Why Soku look like that? That's a Soku screenshot. Let me see, did Dominic say anything? Oh yeah, Dominic asked uh, where Smashline uh, plugins go again. So I said, like, hey, put it in, uh, put it in, um, the Skyline folder. Because, I don't know, I'm guessing he, I'm guessing he's modding yet another Switch. You know, we're, we're just, like, we're just, like, we're passing down our legacy of Smash modding. You know, right? <laughs> Zack passed down his legacy to me, now I'm passing my legacy down to Dominic. And Aaron too, I guess. So... We're just like... Having fun with that shit. Why didn't that... Why didn't he get an extra turn? Was it because he was already dizzy? I think he was dizzy and I didn't even pay attention. Alright, I can get power again. Yeah, <laughs> definitely give me power. Potra's useless, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. I can get torrent shot and then dodge dark. That would be nice. I like how they have to differentiate the dark skills and normal ones. Ah, oh, man. What do you want to do? I don't know, man. How close am I? I might just do the easy one because I don't want to lose my progress again. Because I already lost way too much progress. Yeah, let's do the easy one. Until, like, we're, we'll do the hard ones later once we actually get, like, good shit. Like, debilitating crap, but right now, nah. Hell yeah. Um... Moragion. They're weak to- he's- she's weak to fire, apparently. Um, sure, we can use her Theurgy. Feel like a free buff. No. Or recover SP is good too. Yeah, go Cerberus. Boom. Oh my god, it's actually dead. Oh yeah, you're weak to win. So we can just do it all at attack. Well, now this is a little too easy, bro. There you go. Oh yeah. 
Good thing we have Junpei and Koromaru. Boom. And then do it again. <laughs> Go for another all out attack. So I think the difference is you just do more battles back to back or something. I think that's how it works. Alright, do a third all out attack. Because why not? And then three Persona users with fire. That's crazy. Alright, uh. Go for experience. Yeah, that really, that really did not give that much. I still got like four chests, a spirit talisman. I'm putting that shit on right away. You bet your ass. Holy shit, 30 SP. And we'll give uh, Junpei the speed uh, necklace then. Nile Blade. Ring of Sorrow, what the fuck is that? Uh... Luck and 20 HP. I mean, for Koromara, that's pretty good. And some Onyxes. Alright. Yeah, let's go to the next floor. So you, might, you gotta be getting close if you see, like, the, um... Oh, there's a treasure if you see the Monad doors. Now there's four scales. I still didn't crit any of them. Man, I wish I had like a Maguru gem or something. That'd be really nice. I don't know if those Megido gems are gonna come in handy or not. Man, I really wish I had Maguru. Actually, I think I do. But, I'll just do it this way, I guess. You know, honestly, this game came out a really good time anyways. Because, um... Yeah, I'm gonna be playing... Ooh, Invigorate. Invigorate is very nice. I mean, since I'm going to be, uh, playing, like, spooky games in October, the fact that I can probably finish this game off before October is really nice. Um, so I don't think you can actually... Um, I'll just put that on you, honestly. If that's gonna be my default persona... Wait, no. Yeah, make this my default persona. And then just have Invigorate happen as much as possible. Baby, 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 baby. Pretty swifty. Yeah, it's time to get Swifty in here. Does Rick and Morty have a fucking anime for some reason? Wind Roast. I want that. Wind Wind Boost is really freaking nice. I thought, I thought Junpei was gonna be just like, this is pretty bad. I gotta use the bathroom. Ooh, magic mirror. I thought Junpei was gonna say he has to take a shit or something. That seems like a Junpei thing, though. Two Hulk Hogan's. Damn. Damn, brother. You got two Hulk Hogan's in here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I suppose I could just have her do Herculean Strike for some extra damage. Yep, just slash him up. Where's my Mazio at? That's Zio. Oh yeah, oh there, there's Mazio. What? How dare you dodge the barrel. Oh. What is that? What does that voice clip remind me of? There's like some character or enemy in a game that just goes oh when it get when it gets hit. I don't know actually. Yeah. <laughs> Taro Kajo, okay. Oh shit, he got up. Oh. Uh, get rid of this guy. Alright. Yeah, this is probably gonna kill, actually. Yep, bye. And I get Kushi Mitama. Nor fodder. Persona overstock? Aw, oh, crap. Aw, oh, crap. Um, get rid of uh, Mitra's. It's my lowest level. Okay, more levels. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting on it. Uh, Alright, we got some life stones we can use, thankfully. Oh, good. And we got some Onyxes. That's a lot of Pokemon, man. Where is the exit? Oh yeah, we can just go to the next floor. Oh, hello. Hey, we made it! Abyss of time. Well, Sergeant? Eh, uh, you can go. Just another one of them freak accidents. Oh yeah, you get like a little flashback scene every time you hey, beat something. Dude, sorry it took so long. It says here your name's, uh, Ken Amada. Is that right? Oh. Jeez. Sorry about what happened to your mom. Or she gave her life to protect you from the wreckage. This guy sounds way too chill. He's like, yeah. Your mom died, by the way. Anyway, I gotta take your statement. Since you're a witness and all. If I told you what happened... Would you believe me? Of course I would. Helping people out is our job. My mom was murdered. What? Around midnight, when I got up to use the bathroom, I heard voices by the door. I looked and saw this teenager holding his head and yelling. Hold on, you're saying he did it? But the whole house collapsed. There was this shining, horse-like monster that came right out of him. It roared, and just like that, my mom and my house were... Oh, monster was it? <laughs> Come on now, there's no way that actually happened. <laughs> he said, like, you're gonna believe me, right? Yeah, I'm gonna believe you. There's a fucking monster. Lol, you're not, you're not telling the truth. It's just sometimes after a traumatic incident like this, people will change. I'm not lying! I really did see it! I did! Look, kid. It was all an accident, plain and simple. Drunk driver crashed his car into your house. What? A car crash? We've already found the car and what's left of the driver. Now all we need is an account of the accident. Thankfully, you guys don't hear those police cars outside. That's a lie. You're just making that up. Now, I know you might think so, but it's true. Sergeant, can you come out here? Yep, yeah, be right there. 
Kinda sounds like Johnny Young Bosch. Listen, I'm sorry for your loss, but I have to go. Um, I I hope things get better. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> it does sound like him a little bit. Liar! You said you'd believe me. <laughs> Adults can't be trusted, so I'll find him myself. <laughs> Ah, jump scare. Yo, I got a point thirty seven percent achievement. Dude, I got I got I dude, I'm so god gamer, I got a rare achievement. <laughs> but the first door didn't disappear. It just opened up to a new place. Never mind that. What we just saw was <laughs> that sure brings back memories. Oh, everybody saw that? Okay. Doggy. All I thought of back then was finding my mom's murderer. But in the end, I couldn't manage it on my own. All I could do was ask myself why he had special powers. And uh, if things would have turned out differently if I had them too. Maybe that night was the reason I started experiencing the dark hour. Amada. My family must have fabricated the accident as a cover-up. Oh god, front-facing Mitsuru. I forgot how cursed that is. I'm sorry for that. Hey, Metis! What was that all about? What was what about? Oh, I see. Apparently, we can only witness past events if not everyone was involved in the first place. That's new. That's not what I meant. Why did we see such a painful memory? Huh? How would I know? It's your past. <sighs> you better not be hiding anything. Yeah, he don't seem like the type to hide stuff. How would I benefit from that? This is just speculation, but I think the doors reflect the minds of those who passed through. That's why we were able to find a place to acquire supplies and return to the dorm directly. Right now, you wish to erase the abyss of time as soon as possible and make it out alive, correct? If so, then although what's beyond these doors may seem irrelevant, there might be a reason we're seeing it. Honestly? N honestly? Um, not gonna lie. Metis actually seems like the one in the right here. Like, Akahiko's like the one in the wrong for getting all pissy about it. Like, if I was playing this maybe like four or five years ago, I'd be like, shut the fuck up, Metis, you dumb bitch. But now I'm like, you know, Metis, is, Metis has a point. <laughs> Perhaps your time would be better spent thinking about that reason rather than accusing me. What did you say? It's all right, really. What she's saying is probably true. <laughs> Not cool, Lakahiko. Can't lose your cool like that. of thinking lately is that why we saw that back then things weren't perfect but everything seemed so much more straightforward when we were fighting that feeling we all shared it just wasn't something you can get by going to school every day <laughs> yeah oh god i almost choked it's like yeah i go to elementary school and then at night like i fucking slay demons you know now that i think about it right how come not enough animes focus on, like... Like, you know, you have all your animes that focus on, like, you know, college kids and high school kids, but... How come there hasn't been enough, like... Ha has there been any animes where it's, like, you know, elementary school kids, like, killing demons and shit? <laughs> Does, has that ever happened? Or do, do they just not want to do shit like that? Or do they think it's gonna be, like, too kiddy or something? Sonata-san, recently you've dedicated yourself to boxing again, right? Isn't that because you don't want to forget that feeling? Or maybe I'm just projecting. <sighs> no, I think you're right. Why don't we just drop the subject? There's no point in dredging up the past. Oh shit, I just realized. How are they going to handle Yukari's character in the answer? Because she had a really 
interesting, I guess, to say the least, character in uh, the answer, and not a lot of people liked it. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we'll see. Don't you remember why we put everything on the line? If we stop moving forward, this all would be a waste of time. Yukari. Come on, let's go. Stop with the front-facing Mitsuru, I don't like it. It doesn't look like a real sprite from this game, bro. It looks it looks fake. It looks it looks like a I don't know, it looks like it's from the beta or something. Actually, you know what it looks like? It looks like a Persona 5 like vanilla sprite. Before we had the updated royal sprites. That's what it looks like. For what reason did we witness a vision of our friend's past? Yeah, why did, why is why is Ken always getting the short end of the stick in this game? First Ken gets beat up in the opening cutscene, and now Ken gets his, like, brutal-ass memories shown first thing. Excuse me, I guess, would it be okay if I got a closer look at the parts you found while exploring? Perhaps. It's just as I speculated. These parts can be equipped to Aegis' framework. Oh, hell yeah, Aegis getting an update to the .NET framework? Let's go. This new base material is much lighter than her current hardware's. It also has different thermal pro properties and structural durability. I almost said, I almost said proprietaries. <laughs> I mean, that's a close word, but not the same thing. Hey, I guess... I think these parts will allow you to do things that would have been impossible for. Would you like me to install them? I'd understand if you were hesitant, though. <laughs> I, I don't know. Cooper. Where is that sound? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, again, I completely understand how you must feel, but please trust me on this. I think I've gotten pretty familiar with your internal mechanism by now. You think so too, right? Alright then, this would be also a good time to do some maintenance, so why don't we head to your room? Fuka-san installed the new parts. Um, hey. I adjusted your mobility unit and power output to improve overall stability. Now you have a wider range of movement. That'll make transitioning from running to attacking smoother, which should be more energy sufficient. Oh, you, oh, we got an ambush, okay. That's good. What do you think? <laughs> I quite like it. <laughs> oh yeah, so I watched a video. I don't remember who did it. I think it was Who Is This Git again? But they did a video about like nitpicks in games again and one of them is the useless like dialogue options and he brought it up how it's like very a massive problem in persona because like if you're trying to speed run through persona you can't just like leave it f fast forward on you actually have to like pay attention kind of and select the options and shit and he pointed out how it's kind of annoying and you know what i never thought about it that way before <laughs> Just let me know if you find any more parts I can install for you. Yeah, I kind of want to. I kind of want to go to the. Um, uh, I don't want to go to the store, honestly. I've concluded my own investigation. Yamagishi will pick up the search from here. From this point on, I'll be joining the main expedition with all of you. It looks like the whole team can focus on exploring now. Yes. If you need my help, don't hesitate to call for me. Hooray, arbitrary thing. Wait, there's there's friend events. What? Oh, let's go to the store. Cause one thing I forgot to do was go to the antiques. Welcome. I forgot to go to the um yeah, antique shop last time, because there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we can uh we know we know what this is all about. Equipment. Um. I got my equipment. Should I? Should I go with um? What would you like? Oh, I need a lot of this shit. Uh. Oh, look at what I can't make. Genmu's leggings. Ooh. I Man, I don't really care about feet though. Cause I kind of want like I don't really care about evasion right now. I kind of want like weapons and stuff. Um, I'm sure this will prove to be cars <gasps> invigorate too. The 
Divine Grace, Gift Boost, Crit Ray Boost, Ailment Boost, Megi Dolwell. Oh yeah, Spellmaster is pretty good. I mean, Vigory too. I'm gonna get that. And I can get a few Snuffles. Here's all ailments. Um, actually, we can get. Hang on, we can get one. We can get one Omrita gem and one Snuff Soul. And then we have uh, the Kaja gem. I guess I got a couple of those. Lowers all defense for three turns. And I guess uh, a Dekuna gem. No, why not? And now we can't equip any of this shit. Actually, wait. I can get plate mail. Sure. And none of this shit. Okay, so we have a new armor as well. It is pretty funny how Yukari's old VA voices her, and Akihiko's old VA voices him. There's something really funny about that. <laughs> and I, I don't know who voices this guy, but he's cool. So, who is equipping this? Plate mail. Yukari could equip it. Oh, wow. The Daft Jacket. Happy... 9-11, yo. Hey yo. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the funny <laughs> day. You definitely get canceled for that. But okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, look at the look at the look at the name of this uh this armor. <laughs> what what is it? <sighs> you see it? <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I almost accidentally said it earlier. Hero Knickers, okay. Yep. That's, uh, that's All right. A... Anyway, so um, what's the point of this DLC? Um, it's basically like an epilogue where you play as I guess and you do like a shit ton of dungeons. Okay. So did the main character die? Oh yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh shit! So what? Um, I don't know. Probably COVID or something. Okay. Oh, we got lots of stuff. Wow, look at all the stuff I'm getting. Oh my god. Good to see you. Uh -huh. Alright, uh... Uh-huh. Got some new things and stuff. Fuck, I can't afford Check that. Well, let me sell yeah, stuff. Wanna sell sure. It's a deal. Okay, now I can uh, afford it. As long as you need. Aramid Compound. That's a pretty good uh -huh. armor increase. Okay, so this is the epilogue where main character dies, but... What'd you bring? You guys bring? still fight yeah. shadows. Uh, for what? Um, to okay. figure out why the March 31st keeps repeating. Sure. All right. How many? Sure. All right. I'll take that. So basically, ground right. groundhogs there. I'll take that. Basically, yeah. Sure. All right. I'll take that. Okay. That's pretty much what's happening. It's Groundhog Day at Persona Edition. Okay. What are you looking for? Uh. Really so did you fight the boss yet? I I fought a couple bosses already. No. The boss. The boss? Nah, that's gonna take like probably like eight more episodes. <laughs> what you, you know who I'm talking about, right? No, <laughs> I don't know which boss. <laughs> you finished? Bro, I, I, I kind of got spoiled on it because it was on fucking Twitter. Wait, you did? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, which one then? Because I, I I I already know about what the bosses are in this DLC. Because I oh fucking Joker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> fucking Joker. Oh no, that was spoiled. On... No, they, that, that's not spoilers. They, they, that was in the trailers. That was like one of the selling oh, points gonna... of the DLC. <laughs> I didn't see that, but I went on Twitter and I saw someone already doomed the Joker boss fight, and they got their ass whooped. <laughs> oh great! I mean, I'm probably not gonna be able to beat him because he's probably gonna whoop my ass too. But I'll try. Like, I'll fight him at least once because he, he's probably gonna be Elizabeth 2.0. Um, I'm gonna let you find out. I already saw one of the attacks. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you fuck around to find out then. <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm guessing he uses like a gown and other shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Only saw one attack and it did a funny. And <laughs> it did a it funny. Great. It did a funny. It he, was he, great. He probably has arson and some shit. But yeah. Um, I might just do like some little events. 
Oh yeah, and also here, here there's this new girl called Metis. Is it Who the possible? fuck? This is uh this is Igus' sister. <laughs> what from another mother? Um, I don't know, they look they look the same to me. <laughs> and also, uh apparently Junpei and Akihiko have like happy faces. I think that's something I could probably do. Oh, I chan, you free at all? You wanna do something fun? Check out this best boat bouts DVD. Let's see if we can learn a thing or two from what we found in the Abyss of Time. Oh, that's what that key item is that I found. Damn, these fights got me on the edge of my seat. Don't see how much I could use in a battle, though. Also, why the heck would you guard and run from the opponent here? Makes zero sense. Yo, perfect timing's not a son. Mind if I pick your brain a bit? I see. So you're wondering why this guy didn't just follow up with another attack instead. That Mike Tyson Oh much? god, he, he's doing the voices again. Oh no. <laughs> yep. Don't worry, he's there's doing don't, the voices again. Don't worry, there's no uh there's no e-girl in this DLC. He's doing it again, oh no. <laughs> I mean look, his so opponent's stop. pretty much cornered, right? Don't get why you just back off after that. Well, I don't think it's a bad tactic at all. Seems obvious enough to me that he's getting baited. He's letting himself get hit on purpose, probably because he's setting up a trap. What would you do here, I guess? Would you still charge ahead fist flying when you know it's a trap? Uh, I would analyze the situation. Huh, guess we're on the same page then. Seriously, you guys? Come on, the answer's obvious. Go in guns blazing. After all, the best defense is a good offense. You just gotta turn the tables and all that jazz. Junpei, you're gonna get yourself killed one of those days with, the, with that thinking. What if you meet your match one day? You gotta be realistic. Oh, hell no. Well, yeah, but it's just... Going in for a one-hit KO is one heck of a power move. Don't you agree, Aichan? <laughs> no. Why not? Really? Personally, yes, I think an ultimate attack is this really every one good everything you know the hero needs, you know? You know what I mean? Well, if that's how you really feel, then you better work hard and see it through. Not like there's only one way to get stronger. You're just walking a different path from some of us, that's all. <laughs> Sonata-san! <laughs> Junpei-san appears to have overcome an internal struggle. Ooh! He gets a crit boost. Oh fuck yeah. I need crits. Anyway, show me where your path to strength takes you next, Junpei. Uh, I just wanted to talk about killer moves and ultimate attacks, though. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Alright, what about Akihiko? You free right now? I was hoping we could talk about that book we found in the abyss. You know, Martial Arts 101? Thanks. Mod has been reading it, and he's got some questions. Figured it'd be a good idea for him to get some pointers from people with different fighting styles. Let's head over. Thank you. I'm starting to get it now. This sure is helpful. I've never thought about why you do certain exercises or regimens or anything like that, really. You should. It's important to know where your muscles are located and how they work together. Thank you very much. Thanks for demonstrating, I guess. That made everything so much easier to understand. Uh, I also learned something new. Oh, right. Anything else you're curious about? I'm all ears. Ask away. Well, yeah, kind of, but it's fine, really. It's not a big deal or anything. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If there's anything you want to know, let's hear it. Uh, uh, it's about what the book said at the end. The never give up no matter what and press four in the face of failure bit. Isn't that more about developing mental fortitude than actual strength? Failing means not getting results, right? Let me think. Uh, yeah, you got a good point there. However, regular training improves more than just your physical strength. I guess you know what I'm getting at. Um, it boosts your confidence. Impressive. Huh, exactly. Specifically, the confidence you gain after conquering a milestone in your training. And that confidence you Question. build will see you through any future hardship yet to come. Cool question. How long have you been streaming for? Um, I saw you streaming this earlier. What? How long have you been streaming for? Three hours and 25 minutes. Oh, time really flies. 
Wrote it at the, how, long, how long do you think you were going for? An hour? Like two and a half hours? Not three and a half. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I'll stop soon, because you know, I'm just about to start the next dungeon anyway. Oh, yeah, I know. The real battle takes That's place before you even get in the ring. If you want to make progress, then you gotta commit to training every day non-stop, no shortcuts. Sometimes I forget that myself, but it's important to bring it back to the forefront and stick to your routine. Now we're doing Shadow Story tonight. Um, probably not. I'm tired of balls <laughs> after this. Uh, bro, uh, nigga, you're playing. The, bro, you're playing this shit early this morning. It did like until the eighth of noon. I, <laughs> Hello. I, I played it for like two and a half in the morning, and now I'm playing it for three and a half in the night. But here's the thing. Okay, okay see, so if I go to your street, you see, so if I go to your previous stream right now, I should see that time zone, right? Yeah, it was like two and a half hours. And also, I want, okay. I want Seb to see the end of Shadow Story, so. We need to, we oh need my to... god, you weren't kidding. You did this for three hours? Three hours? Okay, that's a little bit longer than I was thinking. And but... you did the other one for for two hours and 43 minutes. <laughs> yep. I got, I got the, I got, I got, I got the first dungeon done in that episode, and then I got the second dungeon in this, done in this one. So each dungeon is probably gonna take like two to three hours, I guess. <laughs> well, keep in mind there's there's seven dungeons, so that's why I said it's gonna be like eight episodes probably. Okay, but we'll see. So when do, so when, so when will you fuck the robot? Uh, well, I mean the MC died, so we can't really fuck the robot anymore. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you're free tomorrow, like, afternoon, so that Seb can actually watch the finale of Shadow Story, because he, he's been getting all pissy at me because he hasn't been able to watch them. <laughs> well, he needs to make, well, he needs to jump out of school and have more time. <laughs> drop out of school. I'm kidding. Well... I'm kidding, don't drop out of school. Yeah, don't drop out of school, kid. Stay in school. Uh, well, I think he's usually free at, like, what, like, 5 or 6 p.m., so we could probably do it at that time tomorrow. No, sure. Yeah, especially since I'm probably gonna do this in the morning, so I'm f basically free all afternoon and evening. Buff boost. Oh hell yeah! All right. Of course, that alone isn't enough to secure victory. You also need to figure out a regimen best suited for your goals. Got it. Thank you for helping me out, Snada-san. Actually, you helped me reignite my passion for this sort of thing, Amada. I should be the one thanking you. My mistake. Looks like I took up more of your time than I expected. At least Amada got something out of it. Thanks for lending us a hand. I guess that means Ken's gonna be the next uh, one to talk to. But uh, he, he's going, he's off doing his own thing, it looks like. All right, well, I guess we'll prepare for the next dungeon. Hi. So uh, I've been waiting we're in like, we're in like the desert zone. <laughs> Nigga, where the fuck are you? The timeless desert? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, nah, this nigga's in dusty well, desert from Sonic 06. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, the, sand, yes. the sand is not killing you, though. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is, this is the abyss of time. The, the abyss of time, okay. Yeah, that's what it's called. There's a red clock now? What is this red clock? Hello? You should, you should touch it. Vermilion Clock. By accessing the Vermilion Clock in the Desert of Doors. Oh no, it's not called the Abyss of Time, it's called the Desert of Doors. I like the Abyss of Time better, what the fuck is this? The <laughs> well, Desert of Doors sounds so garbage. <laughs> well, th this entire, like, universe is called the Abyss of Time, but this just specific location is Desert of Doors. You can choose oh, to make okay. a cop- Oh, I can make- I can do skill duplication, let's fucking go. Wait, hang on. Nah, you don't need that. You're a gamer. You don't need that. I'm gonna copy Invigorate too, because I'm funny. What is that stance, bro? Yeah. Okay, so how much did you pay for this DLC? Uh, I got it for free on Game Pass. So, I guess 25 bucks? Okay. <laughs> no, be honest. How much does this shit cost, man? Um... Can I check- can I check the, uh, the store? <laughs> I actually no, don't think he can. I think yes. I, I think I can. We're, 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 yes. It's like fifty bucks yes. or something. Well, fuck it. We're checking the fifty. We're, fifty. We're checking the store. Fifty bucks for the you put why? We're checking. We're checking the the store to see just how much it costs. 
A lot of Persona 3 Portable is like... <laughs> 134! You paid 134 for this shit. Well, no, that's 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 the uh, the ultimate deluxe bundle edition or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, no, oh. the uh, the, okay, seventy five bucks <laughs> for the main game. I do. And what the DLC? The DLC is uh, forty six bucks. See, so if you would have actually got these, you'd pay. You'd be paying like a hundred plus. Then yes, yeah, so basically, uh, Black Ops three prices are bad. <laughs> Oh, hey, look. Sonic Forces Persona 5 costume. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? I'm going looks... I'm a, I'm a to send this shit to Sam. He's going to be so pissed. Oh, yeah, guess oh, what? My... Okay. You know what? Oh, yeah, guess what? Persona 5 Phantom Thieves outfit for three fifty nine. dollars Jesus Christ. They really milk in this game. So, yeah, good thing I paid. So, in total, I, I paid Game Pass for two months of this shit. I paid for it back in February, and I'm paying for it for this month. I'm only paying 50 bucks for this game with the whole DLC, so I'm basically paying like half the price for this shit. Marvelous. So, much better deal, honestly, than paying 70 bucks, 75 bucks, and then like another 40 bucks. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the well, I got the meteor knuckles. I got a mepatra, wonderful, and kami musubi water. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do that shit. Very well. And I guess we'll uh, fuse some personas before we uh, end the episode. I mean, oh yeah, um, I did, I, I did work on Down Bad Edition a little bit. Oh yeah, I have to go now. You can All tell right. me about it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll tell you about it tomorrow then. <laughs> Alright, see ya. I'll see ya, man. Carter K went to go jack off. Bro really dipped as I was getting to the good part. Alright. Ooh, we got a new, uh... How may I assist you? Did we get a new skill? No. Ah! ah. Alright, let's fuse some of these bad boys. Is this acceptable? We can get Sati. Choose what skills to inherit. Uh, Garula, Fatal End. Actually, can I get Raycar instead? What the hell is Raging Tiger? Oh, no. <laughs> nah, screw that. Well, well, well. It looks like I'll have to add uh, Seb and Zach to the thumbnail of this. It's like a flaming, like, Indian lady. It's pretty cool. Alright, what about, uh, Legion? Oh, I can't make Anubis yet. Uh, Yaxini. Or Yakshini. Oh, I can almost make Grimacala too. Oni? I mean, I'm just fusing Oni to get in the Compendium, you know? Rebellion, Tarunda. Uh, Resist Strike. We already have Resist Strike, don't we? Yeah. Growth 1. Sure. <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? I'm just gonna get some Funi Fusions real quick. Alright, um... Oh, I can get King Frost now! Is this yes! Alright, um... Growth 1. <laughs> Revolution, the era. It doesn't really matter. Well, then. I can make Black Shall Frost now. Hee-ho, King Frost here. Hey, y'all, King Frost here. Um... Sarah's Vati. Is this except what do you wish to inherit? Oh, I'm so close to being able to get Aggie Lao, bro. <laughs> Counter. So it begins. Alright. Alright, we got more uh more fire. Uh virtue. Is this acceptable? Oh yeah, I remember this dude. Both can't fuse that. Satanta. Why don't I do a fusion well, search? Shall we take a look? Um Basky. This persona, what do you wish to inherit? Uh Bupula, Zio, Meha, and Invigorate One. Sure. 
A new power emerges. If I just carry over all my skills, it's gonna be perfectly fine, you know? Alright, what else can I make? Um... Saki Mitama, I don't care about that. Yakshini? Sure. This persona, please choose what skills to inherit. Uh, the Arama, Garula, Growth One. Sure. Well, well, well. There we go. And. I think that's about all the good stuff. Actually, I can make, um, Seryu. This persona is oh, yeah, I love this dude. To inherit. Um, Growth 1. Mm, Mabaisuri, Diorama. Oh, you already have to Diorama. Uh, Garula, and... Hmm. I guess Fatal End or Maragi, I don't know. Nah, actually, I'll do Fatal End. Oops. This guy's pretty good, actually. <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? We have more stuff in the compendium, at least. I think you get stuff for, like, completing the compendium anyway. How many, how many personas do I have now? Will you choose? Uh, Saitanta. Is this acceptable? Sure. Please choose what skills to inherit. Mahama Arrow Rain. Crit rate boost. Hell yeah. Auto Suku Kaja. Wait, no. He already has, he has Auto Taru Kaja. Uh, carry over Rebellion, I guess. Well, well, well. There we go. Bro looks like a South Park character or something. There we go. Oh yeah, there's no, um... There's no, like, what do you call it? No Arcana boosts, since there's no social links in this. That's weird, I forgot about that. Alright, and apparently I could do Special Fusion. I can make Black Frost. Yeah, we're gonna make- we're gonna, we, it's a staple to make Black Frost in, like, every playthrough, bro. Please choose what skills to inherit. Um... Freeze boost, maybe? Uh, Diorama, and I guess Revolution, yeah. And Torrent Shot? And why not? <laughs> why, this is exciting, I didn't even know I had Pyro- I didn't even know I had Pyro Jack. Well, I got Black Frost now, one of the Iconics. Oh, he is weak too. Wait, what is he trying to change? Growth one. You know what? Sure. What could it turn into? Growth two. Oh fuck yeah! For once, that actually went in my favor. Arvati. Loros. This guy's not bad actually. Is this acceptable? Cost nineteen thousand to summon him. Hmm. Not really. I don't really need it. I already have a fire user coming up anyway. What kind of persona do you desire? I can get Incubus? Nah, I'm good. I'm good on personas now. How splendid. Ooh, a new potential. Oh, am I gonna get King and I? Yeah, King and I is good. Heavy ice damage to all foes. Yay! That's gonna be a really nice, uh, skill to have. I mean, that's just one good reason to summon Black Frost anyway, because you can get that move. Get a really OP Theurgy. Oh, and I did another request. Here are my requests. Create ten Persona Fusions. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah, I did that. Trafuri Gem. And an Amethyst. Yeah, I mean, I'll do all of these at some point. I'm still in a muscle drink. Maybe I should go buy that real quick. I'll do that. That's the last thing I, I'll do before I end the episode, actually. And I might... I don't know if I'll watch Sailor Moon tonight, honestly. I haven't been watching Sailor Moon ever since, you know, I got really into my hacking. 
Because, I mean, hacking is just so much more fun anyway. Let me go get a muscle drink real quick, because I can do that. Never felt like taking a dog. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, it's not usually not worth it to buy this stuff. Like this poison, though. And this rage. Yeah. He's just a happy guy. Alright, I can go re complete that request. Hi. The Abyss of Time. Alright, and let's... Let's, uh, get that request oh, turned in. Soul drops. Well, that's not bad. Oh, show Elizabeth invigorate too. Excellent. Hey, look, another one I did. Speed incense. Yay. Show Elizabeth a Dekaja gem. Power incense. Wow, I just did like three requests at once, bro. That was good. Uh. I've already done quite a lot of the requests. Very well. Man, Elizabeth's requests are so good, dude. They, they, they're so much better than they were in, um,. FES. Uh, we'll use one on Junpei, we'll use one on Akihiko, and we'll use one on Koromaru. Speed, uh, probably Yukari, Junpei, and uh, I guess Mitsuru, why not? So now I have a Maypatra card. And Invigorate too. Alright, who are we putting this on? Probably Black Frost? Actually, no. This guy. Wait, he has Growth 2 and Growth 1? Weird. <laughs> that's, gonna, that's gonna make it really OP. Yeah, I'll just have this guy. He has Mat Matarunda as well. So yeah, I'm gonna be... Very OP. I'm just gonna keep, like, farming Invigorate 2 skill cards. Like, I just have that at, le at least one, like, demon. Um, I do have Raycarm as well. Well, we'll think about it, though. We gotta, um... Okay, I guess we're going in, uh, Kana next. And I think, as for my party members... I'm going to uh, take off Ken and Korum or not Ken, uh, uh, Junpei and Koromaru, and we're going to put on uh, Mitsuru and Akihiko, because Akihiko hasn't gotten level ups in a while. Yes. Yep. So, I think he's, like, well equipped. He's got the Meteor Knuckles, the Daft Jacket, the Daft Punk Jacket. Oh yeah, and I can also put it, he has also in the Velvet outfit. Uh, Mitsuru is the one on the Velvet Jacket. Let me put that in. Let me put that on her. I mean... Wait, put her... Actually, no, I like the maid outfit. Well, he, she's probably gonna look in the... She's probably gonna look like, you know... Yeah, Margaret. Based. You know, I, never, I just realized I never put Junpei in that outfit either. <laughs> Forgot about that. This DLC did come for free. Damn. Damn, Junpei looking good, huh? Alright. Well, I'm gonna save in front of the door. So next time... Next time we play... We'll be ready. I like how it's gonna say Wednesday evening. Like, forever. <laughs> the date literally does not fucking matter. The only thing that matters is the level, the location, and the time. And the difficulty, I guess. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching Persona 3 Reload. Had a pretty long episode, huh? Much better than uh, episode 1, I'd say. And we had a few guest appearances from Seb and, uh, Seb and Zach, so that's pretty dope. Anyways, uh, make sure to like and subscribe to be on YouTube and Twitch as always. And I will see you in the next episode where we're going to do Kana, whatever that looks like. So, uh, see you guys then. Take care.